statements say it was not. The poll does show consensus that the military-style equipment used by the police in Ferguson should not be in the officers' hands. Two-thirds of all Americans surveyed said assault rifles and tanks should be reserved for the military and National Guard. One respondent said, There are too many people on the police force who act without thinking, and they shouldn't have access to assault weapons. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Shortly after creating a profile on OKCupid.com, local man Malcolm Lighty, a person with severe psychological and emotional issues, told reporters he thought it was best to just never mention the fact there was something seriously wrong with him on the popular dating website. The thing about online dating is you don't want to get too personal too quickly. Like, for example, how I'm a textbook narcissist with unresolved intimacy issues or the fact that I have no sense of empathy. Nobody wants to hear about that. When you're making a first impression, it's important that you keep it casual and don't include too much information. You don't want to be talking about your inability to maintain a relationship because of a history of violent mood swings. Lighty told reporters while his OkCupid profile includes extensive details about his favorite movies, love of cooking, and interest in cars, he thought he was, quote, just better off not mentioning the borderline personality disorder that makes it impossible for him to connect with another person on any kind of meaningful level. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We do a radio show, which is a little different from your average show. On this one, you can call in and bring up anything you want. With you in the studio this evening, you have Ian here. Ellen. And Daryl. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's brought to you by ProXPN, 855-450-3733. And, of course, we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our username there is lrn.fm. So feel free to reach out to us in that way if you prefer. As usual, there's a lot of stuff to talk about here tonight. The beheading video was quite, or the alleged beheading video, was quite the topic of conversation on the show last night. Got an update on the so-called Islamic State and what the Pentagon has to say about it. Your thoughts are certainly welcome at 855 450 free. Then coming up, Daryl, you've got a bizarre story about Republican politicians versus libertarians in the uh, in Louisiana. Is that right? Illinois. Is it Illinois? Okay. Well, we'll find out more about that here in a little bit. And then also Ellen will be starting the show out here tonight uh, with an interesting story. So go ahead. Yeah. So some of you may know Adam Carolla. He has a pretty- I don't know him, but I know of him and he's pretty entertaining. Uh, yeah, he is actually one of the most successful podcasters, and uh, he's been doing it for a long time. He used it to helps do... when you have a Hollywood career to... Yeah, he used uh, to do He's the Podfather, correct? Bill... What? The, the Podfather? Podfather? No, that's, uh, a... no, that's Adam Curry. Oh, okay. Adam Curry was one of the initial podcasters, so he was one of the first out the gate. Adam. Oh, Carolla... Adam Carolla's the guy with the uh, unibrow that used to be on The Man Show. <laughs> he used to yes. be a part of Loveline as well, which is what never I... Never heard of it. Really? You've never heard of Loveline? You've never heard of I'm surprised by that. Loveline is a... It's actually still on the air, but Adam Carolla is no longer on the show. It was Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew, and they did like a, like a two-hour-a-night love sex advice show basically and it was fascinating it's dr drew show. the hollywood pseudo doctor guy you've probably it seen him on like tv or something person. right yeah. yeah dr drew and uh it was a great show they had great rapport um that was kind of where i think adam carolla really built a lot of his his career like not hollywood but in radio and then eventually he ended up leaving radio to do uh, his own podcast and that's what you're going to tell us about Yep, so I have an article from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and uh, this is about the, the lawsuit that he's invo- involved in with the, the patent troll. Uh, so the, it's titled, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly of Adam Carolla's Settlement with the Podcasting Troll. Oh, there was a settlement. Oh, that's interesting. So just to bring our listeners up to speed on the story, I uh, you know know somewhat what's been going on here. So the idea of a patent troll, can either of you explain what that is? Yeah, a patent troll is someone who may or may not actually hold a patent and goes around and sues people who have things that are similar to 
the patent that they claim to hold. Right. They are a company, a, a patent troll would be an organization, usually of lawyers, uh, that does not do anything of value uh, th- to the marketplace. They don't actually invent things. They don't promote inventions. They don't bring inventions to the marketplace or anything like that. But what a patent troll will do is acquire patents and then sit on them and, and attack people who attempt to build similar things. And then sometimes they will go after people for violating a patent that they don't even hold. Sure, just to try to push their weight around or maybe get a settlement. Right, because, you know, somebody gets a letter signed from a lawyer. They're like, I want this to go away. What do you want? Yep, cut the check, make it go away. So they came after Adam Carolla, who the reason why they chose him is because he's a very, very popular podcaster. Yeah, them being personal audio. And wealthy. Personal audio who claims to be the inventor of podcasting, which... I don't really think it's possible to be the inventor of that. I'm sure there's plenty of people that did that well, independently before somebody patented that's it. That's just it. I mean, the patent pro- the patent is the problem here, right? So yeah. the, these people, either they came up with a patent, which I doubt, or they somehow landed the patent, and now it's in their repertoire, and they're going to claim that, well, we, de- we determined how to send files to people automatically, because that's all a podcast is. I mean, there, there's a lot of people that will throw this term around, podcast, and they'll right. use it incorrectly. Uh, so, like, the local talk show host here in town was talking about how he podcast this heroin special that they did here, which was very good, by the way. But it wasn't actually podcast. It was just posted to his website. You can post anything you want to the website, if it's not delivered automatically to the individual who's subscribing to it, then it's not actually a podcast. So on Free Talk Live, we have a podcast. It's a feed, and you can subscribe to it via iTunes or one of the other various different podcast clients out there. There are a bunch of them. And then whenever you run this program, and some people have these programs on all the time, uh, so I've got one pro- a podcast program that polls constantly looking for new content. And so your program basically results in you being sent every new show that that person puts out rather than you having to go physically to the person's website and click to download. That's what podcasting is. That's what uh, a podcast is. It's essentially a, a, a file on a server somewhere that uh, has instructions as to how your computer can go about fetching a uh, piece of music or, or a talk show. Yeah, and that's what differentiates it from something like a radio show, right? Well, a radio show can have a podcast. Right, as we do. So Free Talk Live is produced first online live, uh, first on radio stations and online live, and we record it, take the MP3 file, and we put it online. You can go and direct download by going to freetalklive.com and clicking like you know you always can, but if you subscribe to the podcast, then those MP3 episodes will be delivered to you. So it takes the steps. It takes the steps out. It takes the work out of of acquiring your favorite audio content. That's the brilliance of the podcast. And I don't know anything about who invented it. I think it's ridiculous to claim that they invented podcasting. Yeah, or or that they own the rights to something like podcasting. And you know what's strange is that they're going after several other large companies as well, or maybe not companies, just organizations. Like I know uh, one of the other websites that they're going after was how stuff works oh wow what that's a great site by the way (laughs) yeah i know so give me more of the story okay big news from texas adam carolla has settled with the podcasting patent troll personal audio although the settlement is confidential we can guess the terms this is because personal Mm. audio sent out a press release last month saying that it was willing to walk away from its suit with carolla so we can assume that carolla did not pay personal audio a penny We can also assume that in exchange, Corolla gave up the opportunity to challenge the patent and get and uh, uh, and the chance to get his attorney's fees. Sorry about that. EFF's own challenge to personal audio's patents is on the separate track and will continue. Our case is before the patent trial and appeal board at the patent office. So EFF went after the patent troll. That's interesting. I didn't know that detail. Yeah, I didn't know that either. They just kind of throw that in without giving a backstory. Hmm. Um. Yeah, so anyway, we're on a schedule for a hearing in December with a ruling likely by April 2015. So this stuff takes a long time. Oh, yeah. You the can imagine. swift hand of justice prevails. <laughs> you can in imagine about a how year. much time Adam Carolla spent fighting off the patent trolls. Like, he. Well, he has It was lawyers. interesting because he was able to raise money by asking his listeners to donate 
through right. Amazon. So it actually didn't cost them anything. And he ended no up raising so much money to fund this lawsuit, which was how he's able to go on so long that they were willing to settle. I wonder how much he spent on this. I mean, because I know he was raising, what, no half a million dollars He said dollars it was over half a million, yeah. I mean, that seems so crazy. I just, I can't even, it's mind-boggling to think about paying lawyers that much money. Yeah, and, and that's how they usually win their settlements, is by dragging it out so long that the they other can't person can't it. pay it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really crazy to me. But um, anyway, the story goes on. Carolla and Personal Audio have agreed to take a quiet period where they won't make any public statements about the settlement before huh. September 30th, 2014. Not coincidentally, Personal Audio is still scheduled to go to trial against a number of television companies, NBC, CBS, and Fox, in September. That's a big challenge to take on. I feel like they have much more I wonder what that's in regards to. I wonder if that's about podcasting or if it's about some other patent allegation. That's a very good question. I don't know. Yeah, we should maybe, look maybe into they're this going to the claim to own the airway or the air <laughs> that all of the television waves are wind, you know, going through Let's somehow. Let's come back. You can share your thoughts. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Ellen, is there more about uh, Adam Carolla here? Yeah, we're just getting into the good Great. part. We'll get into that then. Here in moments, your calls and thoughts, whether it's on patenting or intellectual property, whatever happens to be on your mind goes. Toll free number is eight fifty five four. 50 free you take control of free talk live hi chuck woldery here i don't know about you but i don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain and i don't like those patches either but i have found something that works australian dream arthritis pain relief cream it's a great product it doesn't smell or burn isn't greasy and it works and australian dream has an empty jar guarantee you can use the whole jar and if you're not happy you get your money back but i doubt you'll send it back this stuff really works Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. I travel for work during the week, and it's tough being away from home. But America's Best Value Inn treats me like family with free Internet so I can keep up with work and those back home. A continental breakfast in the morning and instant rewards with the Value Club so I can save more money at most of their 1,000 hotels in North America. If you travel for work, go to AmericasBestValueIn.com and discover the best value on the road. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call one 800 68 62237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. This is the Onion Week in Review. Sources are confirming your dog died earlier today, and we're all really sorry you had to find out about it like this, buddy. Though it's a lousy thing to have to learn from an online web video, and even shittier to hear from a cold, hardened newsman's voice that you can't put a face to, your pet passed away in his sleep while you went out today, and we understand how shocked you must be right now. Sources added that there are many local shelters with animals in need of a good home, though we understand that no dog can ever truly replace the one you just lost. I lost a dog once, but my mom was the one who told me about it, and she was quite the comfort. In this week's op-ed pages, Pantene CEO Marcus Russo laments feeling like the only one who gives a shit about rich, lustrous hair. In other news, a study finds that newborn infants can tell if their parents are losers. A man who just assembled a desk is unsure how he has every screw left over. And Jeff Beck is lured into a dark alley with the old guitar pick on a string trick. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. 
You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E dot com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here by dialing in to talk to us about anything you want. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We're talking about patent trolls. And the one in particular that we're discussing is a company that had sued Adam Carolla, one of the... Personal more, Audio. Personal Audio is their uh, the supposed name of this company. And uh, they don't actually seem to bring anything of value to the world except for lawsuits and threats uh, against people who actually do bring value to the world. And uh, Adam uh, Carolla, I wanted to say Kokesh for a moment there, but not the same person. (laughs) Adam Carolla, uh, sort of a comedian, Hollywood guy, and radio personality all mixed into one. He's been doing a podcast for a few years now. So they targeted him first and they went after him. And there's now been a settlement in that case Uh, We're going to get more about that story from Ellen here in a moment. want to also let you know about another important court case. We've talked about Ross Ulbricht quite a bit here on Free Talk Live. He is the man alleged to be the operator of the Silk Road, the underground marketplace, the infamous underground marketplace. But Ross has been the one that's been getting all the publicity, and we're happy to give it to him here on Free Talk Live. In fact, we've had his mom on the show and... Actually, his mom joined the Free State Project at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Awesome! Apparently. Yeah, it is awesome. Wow. So uh, go to, uh, if you want to help Ross out with his defense, because he needs it, you can go to freeross.org. But there's another guy. Actually, there are a few other folks involved with, allegedly involved with the Silk Road. And one of them is a Free State Project participant. His name is Andrew Jones. And he is also trying to raise money for a defense. Unfortunately, he has not had the level of press coverage that Ross Ulbricht has, so he probably could use even more help. DrewsDefense.org is his website. That's DrewsDefense.org. If you'd like to help out Andrew uh, Michael Jones, who is one of the folks facing life in prison over allegedly operating the Silk Road. So again, his site, DrewsDefense.org. Dot org. As we continue here, Ellen is sharing with us a story from, uh, what was the source? Uh, Electronic Fr- Frontier Foundation? Yep. And they apparently are, they were, it sounded like they were either following or backing up Adam Carolla's case in some way. Now they are suing this personal audio company, or they're actually not suing them. I guess they're going after them in some sort of patent court, some kind of administrative patent Challenge. Right. Uh, that would still kind of be a lawsuit in some kind of way. Mm-hmm. They're bringing a complaint. Basically. Right. They, they have filed a complaint. They actually filed it last year in the Patent and Trademark Office. And I've got updates on that that we can get into after Ellen continues with this story. Yeah. Right. Well, Ellen just... says we're about to get into the good part here. So yeah, this is it. actually titled The Good, so that's why I said it's the good okay. part. <laughs> Wait, so was the ugly, the first part the bad or the ugly? Cause you, no, this is called we, the we good, haven't the bad, gotten the to the bad yet. That's okay. at that was the, the end. ugly part? Yeah, the which part? usually you put the, the bad news first and the good news last, right? Okay. They, they did Uh-oh. it backwards in this article. <laughs> Carolla, his team, and everyone who donated in support deserves massive credit for putting up with such a strong fight. The podcasting community showed that it would not be shaken down. Patent litigation is very expensive, and most troll targets settle early just to avoid the cost of defense. By fighting back, Carolla forced personal audio to actually amount a case and establish that it deserved money. Right. Most of the time, these companies will just send a threatening letter and get what they want out of that. Um, but as he's pointing out here, the fact that Corolla didn't crumble under the pressure that he continued on meant they ended up sort of backing down. Right. That turned out to be too hard for the troll. 
As you probably know, podcasting's not an especially lucrative business. Personal Audio, however, appears to be unaware of this. In its <laughs> July press release, the company wrote, When Personal Audio first began its litigation, it was under the impression that Corolla, the self-proclaimed largest podcaster in the world, as well as certain other podcasters, were making significant money from infringing Personal Audio's patents. After the parties completed discovery, however, it became clear that this was not the case. As a result, Personal Audio began to offer dismissal from the case to the podcasting companies involved, rather than to litigate over the smaller amounts of money at issue. Which I think is pretty funny, because, you know, they, they go into this, like, basically being the bully, saying, we've got all this money, and if you don't give us what we want, you know, you're going to have to pay basically, like, half a million dollars to be able to fight this, and it they found out very quickly that, you know, there's no money in that. Well, that really just shows what this is all about, right? I mean, the idea behind patenting is supposedly to protect the inventor uh, from right. some sort of infringement by other people. I mean, I think the idea that you should be protected is ridiculous. Yeah, as in least, other people are making money off of your idea? But that's that was the idea, was to protect the inventor. But here... The patent troll really shows that they're really all about making money and not about actually protecting an invention. Because right. if it were about some sort of principle, then they would have gone through with the suit. They would have said, well, it doesn't matter, Mr. Corolla, that you're only making $10,000 a year and that barely pays for our attorney. You know, that doesn't even pay our first month of attorney's fees. This is about principle. We own this here patenting process and we're going to take you all the way through the, the court process. But they didn't. They bailed out because they realized they couldn't cash in. Now, if patents, and I'm not a fan of patents and copyright in the way that they are implemented right now. But if you go back and you look through the history of patents and copyright, then initially a patent and a copyright was extended for a specific term of years, okay. generally between 7 and 14. All right. So that – so for instance, Ian, you invent a product, then you would have a patent on that product for seven years, which would give you time to – you know, make sure that you were the first to market and able to make some money on whatever it is that you invented before competition came in. That's the proposal, yeah. That That's the that's initial the way that patents right. were implemented. And now the way they're doing patents and copyright is the life of the creator slash author plus 70 years mm. – or if it's a corporation that holds the thing, then it's for 125 years. Hmm. And, it's and that's just, for both copyright and patents? Yes. So so generic medications? Uh, medication is a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, I, for, I think it's like 17 years on that. Hmm. And that barely covers the testing period. Sure. So that if they wind up going through like one phase of testing and realize, uh-oh, we need to change something, then they either just have to scrap the thing altogether or try to make it different enough so that they can get another patent. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, it's just thrown completely out the window. Yeah, so patents are basically just a way to restrict ideas. Sure. Yes. Yeah, which... You can't really do with something like podcasts because those are on the internet and basically anyone can get access to those. Anyone can make those. There's, it's an infinitely reproducible thing. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, I don't know how many thousands of podcasts there are in the world, but I'd imagine it's in the tens of thousands, if not a hundred thousand. of. I mean, I don't know. There seems like a lot of damn podcasts, especially if you factor in foreign language right. uh, as, uh, you know, in there. Heck, I've got four of them. <laughs> Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. More from the Electronic Frontier Foundation about the good, the bad, and the ugly. We've gotten through the ugly part, right? We've gotten through the good part. Not even the not even the ugly part. Okay. No. So the first part was just the intro. Got it. All right, so more coming up. We're going to get to the bad part here in a little bit. This is Free Talk Live. Share your thoughts. Summertime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. 
Log on for summer specials, including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hudia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes all on sale for summer at herbalhealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to herbalhealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, a fitness writer, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Like many of the million people who are living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every single day. And sometimes my nerves are so raw that if you brushed up against me in an elevator, I'd scream. I can't sleep at night from the pain, and sometimes the spasms in my legs are so intense they will wake me up throughout the night. I've tried the strongest prescription medications available, and I'm going to tell you, they do not work. In fact, they leave me in a stupor, and most of the time, it's impossible to even live your life. Now, I've tried medical marijuana, and I'm going to tell you something, it works. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. It's free talk live. Dial toll-free here and bring up whatever's on your mind. You can uh, do that at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. That toll-free number is brought to you by ProXPN. If you care about online privacy, you really need to go and look at ProXPN. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. You can get signed up there, download their software for free. It's Windows, Mac, iOS, Android devices. You can all use ProXPN. Linux users, you can also use ProXPN. Setup's just a little bit different. In fact, Daryl's tried it, and it's actually a lot easier than I thought it was yes. uh, going going to be so proxpn.com slash ftl go grab the software get started tonight for free but when you're ready to upgrade because they encrypt your internet connection protecting you from your isp and others snooping on you 
Uh, when you are ready to upgrade to their premium account, you get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can connect to, as well as the ability to privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. And you get it all for 5 bucks a month, just about 5 bucks a month, over at proxpn.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL50, and you'll get that sweet discount that I was talking about, that 5 bucks a month. That's 50% off of the annual account price. So use code FTL50 to get that discount. But if you want an even better discount, pay with Bitcoin and use code FTLBTC. You'll get 62% off of the price of the annual account with code FTLBTC when you pay with Bitcoin. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL and get started there. And remember, there's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online surfing habits. So don't forget code FTL50 if you're paying with your credit card, and code FTLBTC if you're going to pay with Bitcoin at proxpn.com slash FTL. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts here. We're going to also get deeper into this story. It's called The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly by the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and they're talking about the patent troll who went after Adam Carolla and who, in theory, if successful against Adam Carolla, would have gone after other podcasters of uh, of lesser repute, like Michael W. Dean uh, from the Freedom Fiends. And, people uh, of, yes, people of lesser repute, like Michael W. Dean. Hi, <laughs> uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. How are you guys doing? Welcome, sir. What's on your mind tonight? Uh, I wanted to thank you and me and GCN for our service. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but you guys donated ad time to a to a radio ad I made for uh, for the EFF to about defending, you know, raising money for this case. Oh yeah, that's right. Cool. <laughs> and I actually just donated twenty five dollars to the EFF to the EFF. Yeah, man. With Bitcoin. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. EFF are everyone. Good. I'm a. I I used to play in this rock band, and we get um. We get royalties of like I don't know fifty bucks each, like twenty years later somehow. Like and fifty bucks my, a year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like nothing. Like it's not worth having me do the accounting with the guy mm -hmm. to deal with. Uh, so I just have him donate my my share to the EFF every year nice. too, because he's in San Francisco and they're right down the street. He just drops it off. Yeah, man, they they do good work. They're kind of. Uh, they're not even minarchists. They're really kind of leftist, and they think government can be fixed. But, you know, <laughs> some people that do that, like, fight the good fight like no one else can. And we have to live in a world of laws, so I guess it's good. It is good that some people go out and, uh, you know, tilt against those those uh, giants. Absolutely. I'll be uh, doing it myself here in uh, in a few weeks. And, Daryl, do you have a case coming up, too, still? Or you're, you're waiting on a decision, I've got right? one pending where I'm waiting on a decision and then there's a case that I'm not directly involved with, but I right. am responsible for it being filed the where ACLU. there's a uh, ballot access lawsuit here in New Hampshire that was filed by the ACLU on behalf of the Libertarian Party at my request. It is nice when you have uh, the groups like the ACLU step in to absorb some of the costs of doing this litigation because it can get pretty expensive. So, Michael Dean, what else were you calling about tonight? Yeah, are you guys up on the uh, the Stefan Molyneux copyright trolling? The only thing I know about this is what I heard from you the other night on Freedom Fiends when I kind of stepped in uh, as, uh, as a temporary co-host there. Uh, this was surprising to me and shocking all at the same time. Can you fill our listeners in? Yeah, I want to say allegedly a lot and be careful because it looks like he's starting to get litigious with uh, with people who, you know, point out people who crit criticize him. There was this chance. You know, I've, I dug the guy. He's an important part of my path to liberty. But uh, I like know, him last... personally. I find him very, you know, easy to interact with. He's friendly. He's funny. I uh, met him a few times at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Yeah, in the last six months, he's been just occasionally, you know, in in a three-hour podcast of dropping mad science, you know, there'll be like 20 seconds here and 20 seconds there of just nutbaggery. Like, without me, Liberty, the world would have to wait 2,500, you know, 200 to 2,500 more years for Liberty. Yeah, like I heard the, about the that. Moses. And that one's a fairly old quote. Wasn't that like from last year? Yeah, and uh, you know, kind of like bashing women, and yep. uh, another one he did. He went on a couple tirades of someone who sent him like one dollar and someone who sent him three dollars. Like, how dare you that. insult me with these? You know, I, I remember someone sent him two dollars, 
and he yes. got mad about it. So then I went to his website, and he has on his donate page. It was the first time I'd ever been to his website or the donate page, mm-hmm. and I saw where he says, "If you listen to four podcasts, send me two dollars." So he <laughs> requests two dollars, and then gets mad when somebody sends him two dollars. <laughs> yeah. So I sent him a satoshi worth of Bitcoin, and apparently he got mad about that and went off on it <laughs> really? on like the next podcast. Why that get he did? mad wow. about two dollars anyway? He could be two dollars poor. Because I, I've got to pay taxes and an accountant, and it costs me more to file paperwork than what I got in your donation. You are a yeah, horrible so, person. So there was this uh, YouTube channel called True Shebies or Shebays, you know, the, the Dogecoin dog. How do you say that? Sheba? Sheba. True Shebas, T-R-U-S-H-I-B-E-S, that was entirely composed of like finding places Stefan was inconsistent like you know a, a video where he's saying you should never interrupt anybody it's it's very it's not very respectful and then like two minutes later he's <laughs> shouting down a caller and interrupting them and thing, <laughs> just things like that you know and putting text on it and it was kind of a resource for people who criticized Molyneux because you could reference these videos and not have to say well watch this three hour video and go yeah. to the two hour 17 minute mark and, you know, there were comments on it in text, but it was all it was it was legally and morally fair use. And he uh, his business partner, who who isn't in some department without him, like I've dealt with both of them before, like they see, see each other on everything. Um, mm-hmm. His business partner, Mike, whatever, uh, issued takedown notices for this site on on YouTube and like had it completely taken away. And this for is critique. a guy. Because this well, is this because this no, YouTube was, channel was was sort of highlighting things that they thought people needed to see about Stefan was, Molyneux. It, yeah, no, but it was a DCMA, which is a legal, legally backed by the U.S. federal government copyright uh, notice. And mm-hmm. he said before, like you can use my videos any way you want as long mm-hmm. as you spell my name right. And he said uh, he said they're Creative Commons, which means you can do that with them. But they used a copyright infringement to get them mm. taken down. Now, they wow. took down another channel, allegedly. I haven't even, can't even find a mirror of this channel. Allegedly, they took down a much less popular site that was, like, criticizing the callers on the show. Hmm. And they said they, they took down this. They said they took down True Shebae's, allegedly said this, to... Um, to protect their listeners, but there were there what? were or callers, but there were none none of the callers in the True Shebies thing. It was like inconsistent. So, and there were like videos so, on here of him saying like I went to three Ivy League universities, and then like alleged proof that he didn't go to three Ivy League universities, yeah. things like that. I, I just I, I just did a uh, YouTube search for True Shebs or Shebe, however you pronounce it, and the first video that pops up is. Rest in peace, true Sheebs, killed by a statist cult leader that was posted three days ago. <laughs> wow. Well, there's a mirror of it. Is that on the mirror site? The mirror site on YouTube is true, true mirror, T-R-U uh, mirror. No, this is by some guy named Jim Jesus. We'll come back with more here in moments. Jim Jesus. Where do I know that? I, know, I think that's a listener of Free Talk Live. That name sounds very familiar. Hang on, Michael Dean. Uh, we can continue okay. the discussion here in moments. Uh, that the, Mark came into the studio the other day and said there's been some concern about Stefan Molyneux, so I've been aware of some of this. Uh, we'll come back. Your thoughts are welcome here. This is Free Talk Live. Crashed, the death of the dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones adds, This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting, insightful book this year. Crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. 
I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair pain-free and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm -hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits no no and no no for a limited time you can try no no pro risk-free you'll also get the facial kit and a travel case get weeks of long-lasting results that's it i'm getting a no no great minds do think alike (laughs) (laughs) try no no pro risk-free by calling 800-952-5760 800 952 5760 that's 800 952 5760 800 952 5760 Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We invite you here to bring up anything you want to discuss. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features you'll find waiting there just for you. Something else you might want to check out if you are needing some focus in your life, feeling fatigued, trying to get the extra edge where it counts, You can look into modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall, so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are also talking about modafinil from modup.net and how it's making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge they need. Now, at modup.net, they provide the highest premium quality modafinil with the best potency, so you enjoy significant results and that's why they're the number one sponsor of Reddit's third-party nootropic testing project. Remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and modup.net ships worldwide. It is your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. Modup.net, by the way, gives you a sweet discount when you pay with Bitcoin. You'll get 33% off 
They're already great prices. And to make the deal even better, use code FTL and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order at modup.net. Don't forget code FTL. World-class service at a great price for modafinil at modup, M-O-D-U-P, Dot net. As we continue here, uh, Stefan Molyneux, somebody who has always been friendly with Free Talk Live. You know, we've had him on the show in the past. We've interviewed Stefan. We've had him on in real life at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. And over the last year or so, I've started to encounter things that have given me pause with regards to his show, Free Domain Radio, which is a podcast uh, that that he performs. Appropriately enough that uh, Michael Dean is calling in from the Freedom Fiends because we've been talking about the technology of podcasting tonight. We're going to get back into the Electronic Freedom Foundation side of the this discussion. But you brought up these uh, allegations, Michael, about uh, Stefan Molyneux and his business manager, Michael DeMarco, allegedly using copyright to go after a critic on YouTube, among other things. And you were kind of going through a, a laundry list of, uh, of allegations. Uh, they're not my allegations. I want to make them clear they are true Shibi's uh, allegations because it looks like he's getting litigious, and I want to preface that. But, you know, he complains when people – or he criticizes when critics take, you know – 30 seconds or 60 seconds of something he says that sounds like nutbaggery out of a three hour video and post it and say it's out of context. But you can't, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're commenting on three or four things he said in uh, three or four, two or three hour videos, it has to be taken in cuts out of there to be able to, you know, process it, or you're going to mm -hmm. have to go watch 12 hours of videos. But he says the things he says, you know, and he does the things he does and they seem contradictory to what he has said before and the uh, ethics that he's put forth. Yeah, Helen. and he's pretty much proving that right now if he's uh, backing a, a lawsuit, which I find kind of strange because every video that I've seen of Manu, he seems very intelligent and it, it all makes sense to me, but... Now, are you a regular watcher of no, his I'm content? No, I'm not a regular. I wouldn't say that, but okay. I've seen a few snippets of... Some of the things he said. I haven't seen anything bad whatsoever. I think it's fair to but. say. Now, look, there's something that I think is fair to say about uh, doing a radio show is that eventually if you spit enough words into a microphone, <laughs> uh, you're going to spit some words that sound dumb or yes. poorly thought out. Yes. Uh, or, you know, crazy, perhaps. I mean, you might even be uh, absent sleep and you might not say something that you really intended to say. So right. there's all kinds of things that can happen. Or when you could be quoting someone. And then, and be, then yeah. somebody only hears that you know twelve second yeah. quote where you're quoting someone else, and it attributes it to you and changes the channel before they know what the truth is or whatever. Yeah, right. so there's all kinds of things, misunderstandings that can happen. And because I like Stefan personally, when I first started to hear these things and became aware of them, I, I just thought, oh God, no, you know, I just don't even want to deal with this. I'm just going to put this off to the side and wait and see what happens with, with all this. And one of the first clues for me was when he started putting out the Truth About series on YouTube. And that, to me, was just like a red flag. I don't... it. You know, when a car dealer tells you how honest they are, uh, that doesn't make me feel good. And when somebody claims that they have the truth, I don't believe them. You know, if you claim to have the truth a bunch, like you're always claiming to have the truth, like every video you put out is titled The Truth About and then such and such, <laughs> that just seems really um, inflated, I Especially guess. Especially if it's something opinion-based. That does se seem like well, very it narcissistic. Or, maybe but. it is or it isn't. I don't know. Honestly, I haven't watched very much of this truth about series. I just seen the titles and I, I know I don't want to watch. It's opinion. Yeah. It's opinion. So you took him off of LRN. I did. Um, you yeah. said that the other night and a couple people wrote me and said he didn't really explain well why he did that. Why did you do that? I had, well, like I said, I'd already had some concerns about the, the whole Truth About series, and then I started to hear more rumblings. Uh, Mark had come in to talk to me, and he had said that he'd heard, you know, that Stefan had uh, had jumped the shark, 
and <laughs> uh, and then I something some comment about women, and then I found the details on some of the those comments, including uh, excerpts where it sounds like he's blaming women. Uh, there's this uh, this clip where he you know blames women for getting together some women, I guess, for getting together with a holes, and he just goes off on women. It's like it's women's fault that men are a holes or something like that. I can't really exactly recount his pr- his exact position that he was taking but it was disturbing and uh, and I'd heard, just kind of heard enough at that point. I actually hadn't heard before I pulled him. I had not heard about these allegations about him uh, supposedly using copyright notice to take down a YouTube channel that was critical uh, and I had not heard yet about these allegations of possible lawsuits. So, yeah, I just had, you know, I I'd, I'd heard enough basically. Does that explain it? I guess, but you've um, you've had questions about other shows on there before and not taking them down. I'm not saying you should take the other ones down, or shouldn't have taken this one down. But um, well, there's you know there's pretty, one thing. You're, you're Mister you're Mister Free ta- Free Speech. No, I'm really not. I mean, I like free speech as a general rule, but LRN.FM is a, is a network that is not a free speech network. It's your it is, property. It's your property. It's yeah. uh, it's a it's a network with an ideal uh, ideology behind it, and of course, in the radio business. They tell you a lot that uh, you know, a radio network can't be successful if it's all about ideology, but I don't care about whether or not LRN is successful. So, well, it depends on how you define success, financial success, right? But you know, and if you define success as you know lasting a while, LRN has been successful mm-hmm. because yeah, I've seen yeah. numerous you know radio networks come and go in the last like two and a half years. LRN's been around for what, like yeah, five? Yeah, that's true. Success is kind of sure, subjective. but it loses money. I mean, so the, like from the radio business perspective, you're not going to stay in business very long if you, you know, you're funneling money into your project. Right, but so. LRN is more an activist project. That's what for I you. said. So it's not. It don't. I don't care about its level of success. It doesn't matter to me. You don't care about its level of financial success. Financial success, right? What matters? You do to want me, people to listen, correct. and you do want it to, you know stay alive yeah. for several years. But what matters to me is that we have programming on there on LRN.FM that is of a liberty mindset. And that's not to say that Stefan isn't of a liberty mindset. It's just there's just too much around him that concerns me at this point. And I didn't feel comfortable continuing to air his show. What with all of the, you know, the fluster, whatever you want to call this, this the drama, the controversy, it just... Uh, well, and, you, and, and what mean, really started it was the whole Stefan Molyneux is a, is a cult leader uh, thing. And there's something to that, I think. I mean, there really does seem to be a group of followers who uh, kind of do whatever it is he says. So it's not just the controversy, because you've defended before and said that uh, – you know, controversy is good for radio. It's good for listeners. We don't mind having controversy. Yeah, I don't want to have somebody on here who is going to be, let's say, in, you know, I guess indicting all women or something like that. I'm not saying that's what Stefan was doing in his video. That's what it, was, it sounded like it he was doing. It made me uncomfortable what uh, what he was saying. So I'm not, you know, I'm not going to let somebody get on here and start advocating for racism. I'm not going to let somebody get on here and start advocating for bigotry. Um, so you know, that just doesn't fly with me. Have you ever removed a show before for anything other than like pod pod fading and not doing enough shows? Probably if I re- were to think real hard, but I don't really recall off offhand. Well, I don't really see any problem with uh, you know, like blocking people from being on here who are saying hateful or violent things, like especially if it's something bigoted and you know it it just makes sense being a, a liberty podcast. It's the kind of ideas that you want to promote. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Michael. I'm, thanks for the call yeah. tonight, man. Yep. We gotta get. We got some other folks here who would Absolutely. like to chat, and I appreciate your call tonight, Michael Dean from the Freedom Worms. Fiends, freedomfiends.com. All right. So we'll continue. And by the way, he was on Skype, which is why he sounded awesome. So if you want to do like Michael did, just contact us on Skype at username lrn. dot fm, and we'll continue here in moments. Our toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. You take control. The Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get Black Forest Oak Laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? 
Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E dot com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Gold open today at $1,279, silver open at $19.45, and Bitcoin is trading around $513.43. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online at rrbi.co or by phone 800-874-9760. In the news, on Thursday... Missouri Governor Jay Nixon announced that the National Guard would begin withdrawing from Ferguson, Missouri. The city has been the site of protests and clashes between police and protesters since the August 9th shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown. On Wednesday, the number of protesters on site shrank and arrests were much lower than previous nights. Private military contractors Asymmetric Solutions were briefly deployed to Ferguson on Tuesday and Wednesday. After decades of centralized banking, top-down government, and big business, a new model is gaining momentum, a decentralized model of social organizing and doing business. Websites like Indiegogo allow any individual to start a business or fund a project without going into debt to a bank. Supporters of the Liberty Beat in South America are building a new chicken coop on their self-certified organic family farm by using a decentralized fundraising model through Kickstarter. They plan to use sustainable and recycled materials to build a safe home for their free-range flock. The family inherited the former sugarcane farm in a state of disrepair, and they plan to revive it through organic farming practices. They're well on their way, and they now seek the support of like-minded communities through this fundraiser. You can find their project using the hashtag VamosChicken on Facebook and Twitter. A link to their Kickstarter can be found on thelibertybeat.com. The Liberty Beat will gladly accept information on your decentralized projects through our website and social media accounts. Well, voters in Colorado will soon be able to vote on whether or not to label foods containing genetically modified organisms. Right to Know Colorado fought to get Proposition 105 on the upcoming ballot. Critics say the bill has many exemptions and would end up costing shoppers more money. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live each Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock on 1370 AM in Austin. That's 4 o'clock each Sunday on 1370 AM. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, August 22, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Two Yale professors have presented a system based on cryptography to balance government surveillance with civil liberties. On Monday, Brian Ford, Associate Professor of Computer Science at Yale University, and Joan Figenbaum, a Grace Murray Hopper professor, spoke at the USENIX workshop on free and open communications on the Internet 
about their project, Lawful Set Intersection Protocol. The professor said they believe modern cryptography could help law enforcement agencies find and surgically extract warrant-authorized data on suspects without invading the privacy of innocent users of technology. On August 11th, Vietnam's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development approved importation of several types of genetically modified corn varieties. Vietnamese farmers will be required to obtain a safety certificate before commercial cultivation can begin. Well, controversy continues to surround genetically modified foods as a number of countries around the world continue to prohibit the growth of the crops. The corn varieties are produced by Monsanto and Syngenta. Monsanto is one of the corporations behind the Agent Orange poison that was used on Vietnamese soldiers during the Vietnam War. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Cory Moore Show. With a focus on all things topical and liberty-oriented, Cory Moore and his band of co-hosts, including me, Brian Hagen, gave a sense of humor while attacking the state. The Cory Moore Show can be heard live each Friday night at 9 o'clock Central Time and 10 o'clock Eastern at CoreyMooreShow.com and LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagen reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Police in Lehman, Michigan, describe a local student's recently foiled plans to commit a deadly school shooting as, quote, embarrassingly bad. Authorities apprehended 17-year-old Trent Bayer Thursday after finding him in an empty hallway struggling to load a pathetically small caliber pistol while simultaneously attempting to unfold an inaccurate map of the school. Lehman Police Chief Ethan Holman elaborated several ways Bayer's strategy could have been more effective, including setting off a homemade explosive in the teacher's lounge, executing popular students first, and at the very least, purchasing some military fatigues. You're not going to intimidate anyone by wearing a tucked in button down shirt uh, and uh, pleated trousers. In other news, a jar of change on a dresser is sadly factoring into a number of financial decisions. A teen zebra doesn't give a shit how much you honk, it's not getting out of the road. And dad's new 20 year old Thai boyfriend really sucks at scategories. And don't forget to never ever drink Pepsi Cola, whose dipshit marketing team backed out of a full page ad buy at the last minute. For more news, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. We'll continue discussing the idea of patent trolls and patents in general, intellectual property. Ellen had brought in a story about uh, Adam Carolla, one of the more popular podcasts out there, uh, being attacked by a patent troll. And uh, there's more to it. We hadn't really gotten to the bad news. We hadn't gotten to that yet. Uh, so stand by for the rest of that story, and your calls are welcome. We go to Craig. He's listening to Talk Radio 850 in Raleigh. Hey, Craig, welcome aboard. Hey, thanks. How are you guys doing? Great. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I was just kind of find it amusing and interesting to follow the the overreach of the federal government trying to keep pushing their agenda on this uh, Second Amendment thing. You know, they're coming after, uh, you know, it's always a magazine, or now they don't want detachable ones. We got this judge in Maryland that's banned the AR-15, which supposedly Obama's going to piggyback an executive order to try to ban all these, you know, AK variants, ARs anything detachable. Um, I know a guy in New Jersey that uh, says you can't drive from the range with your rifles or whatever you were shooting with for the day. You can't stop on the way home. You can't have a dummy Well, that sounds like a point. Jersey thing more than a federal government mm -hmm. thing. But, yeah, I mean, gun owners well, in a I lot mean, of— it's hmm? Democratic-run uh, state there. I mean, you got all these— these, uh, these Isn't the New Jersey governor a Republican? Yes. Yes, uh, he is. Yeah. Right. So yeah, what you have at, is it's not really a Republican-Democrat thing, because if Republicans really supported gun rights, then they would do something about it, I would think. But uh, it seems to me like the government just loves to tell people what to do, and gun owners have obediently gotten in line to acquire every single permit that the government's ever come up with. 
So, you know, once governments create one rule and people obey it, you shouldn't be surprised when they create 10,000 more rules and demand that you obey that as well. Yeah, and I actually went to see Jim Jeffries, the comedian, uh, last night, and he made a good point about this. Like, if you want to keep your guns, just don't tell anyone that you have them. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. <laughs> Why should you register them? What are these guys so worried about? Why is the DHS bought two and a billion, you know, rounds of ammo? They could fight a, a, a war at the level of Iraq for probably five or ten years and all that ammo. Well, um, mm -hmm. You know, you've got his executive orders. There's, there's, how many has this guy written? And a couple of them are pretty scary if you look at them and you wonder why is there the police department's getting weaponized? They got APCs. These guys are running around fully tacked out. It's, uh, it's interesting. Not to defend the DHS, but I sort of know how these things operate, and they have budgets for certain things, and if they don't use the budget that they have, then the next year they, they don't, don't get, get the same amount or more, and generally they always want more. So come towards the end of the year, oh, we've still got you know $5 million that we need to spend on weaponry. Everybody, go to the range and just shoot as much as you want. No, it's we've true. got plenty of bullets. We actually know guys. Yeah, but you, do, you, don't, but, you don't buy hollow points for shooting a paper. First they said it was for that. Then they said it was for battle, for backup. So you don't shoot hollow points in battle. I mean, spoke against the Geneva Convention. Just, you might buy the hollow them. points if it were more expensive and you wanted to run up the, the budget. Yeah, I guess if you don't keep spending, you don't get more the next year, right? That's the right. idea. So and we actually knew a guy, uh, know a guy named Silver Dave, and he is formerly in, not Department of Homeland Security, but he's formerly in the, the military, like a Green Beret, I think, and, or Special Forces. Yeah. Anyway, he, um, he, he had a name for it, too. There was like a name for a series of days where like over a couple or two or three days, all they would do is go out to the range and just blast off thousands upon thousands, if not millions of rounds or whatever, of ammunition. And that was all they would do, simply so they could order more the next year. And uh, we, I remember we had guys calling from, we had one guy call from, uh, formerly in the Navy. He said he remembers oh. they were pushing tools off of the sides of the ships. So like craftsmen, you know, very expensive tools, just shoving them off the sides of the ship. Well, so had a chip in the off paint. the side of the ship, run them over with a bear cat, then you can go back to Sears, say, I ran over my ratchet set with a bear cat. You've got the forever guarantee. Yeah, I need a new that. ratchet. They don't want and the then guarantee. you don't have to pay for the ratchet. But that's just it. They want to pay for it, as you were saying, Daryl. They uh, they want the bigger budgets. Well, anyway, Craig, go ahead with your thoughts. Know, what do you guys know of the uh, the small arms treaty? Well, how can the UN dictate to try to do a unilateral kind of lets everybody in the world try to get on the same page with what you know civilians are allowed to to, you know, have in their possession and all that. I honestly don't know much about it. Can you fill me in? This is some sort of, has it passed? Is this something they're working on? What it's is supposedly stalled up in the Supreme Court right now waiting for something, but uh, Holder and these guys, always, you know, it's the, the Mr. Subpoena Dodger himself, uh, Mr. Gunrunner Fast and Furious, and I happened to buy a lot of guns from the place where those guys bought a lot of those guns over in Arizona, and it was pretty funny that after a, uh, that Fast and Furious thing, they bought probably over a thousand rifles from J and G sales. And my head sales guy over that I deal with said, "Hey, if I sell you more than one magazine, I'm going to have to turn in all your information to the ATF." And I just quit buying from them. And I'm a federal background clearance for my job. I have a concealed carry permit. I'm not doing anything wrong, but am I going to let them turn me into these guys and get on some sort of list or whatever? I mean, I think it's uh, you know, it's unconstitutional. Uh, they got some bill right now, SB. Three five something or five three, I get it all backwards. Uh, the government's trying to make it to where you got to have a a, an, a requisition and to purchase ammunition. I don't know if that's in New Jersey or California or one of those states. A but, requisition? Uh, what is that? Like a permission slip? You you yeah, you got to get a permit to buy ammunition. That's what oh, they're trying to cram through that's right crazy. now. It's it really crazy. Is, I it? mean, obviously, uh, look, uh, you guys are new there in uh, in Raleigh on Talk Radio 850, relatively new to the show. You've been on for a few weeks now uh, listening to Free Talk Live. We're pro-freedom every issue, every time. So, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you know, this whatever the UN comes up with for guns isn't going to be pro, pro-freedom. It's not going to be something that expands no. your ability to own guns. So I, I don't, you know, not even knowing what this thing says, I don't need to read it. I don't need to know. I just, you know, if it's coming from the UN yeah. and it's about guns. It's probably bad news. But at the same time, I don't really worry so much because I'm here in New Hampshire and there's like a real gun 
culture that even the Democrats in a lot of cases have guns in New Hampshire. So I, I just can't even imagine uh, whatever the UN passes. I can't imagine New Hampshire not nullifying it or is just kicking it back in their face. And so, well, way. I don't see or the like U.S. The- Senate actually agreeing to it because the U.S. Senate just refuses to vote on a bunch of the UN treaties that have been coming out in recent years. Well, maybe. All, need, all somebody needs to do is bring up the massacres that have happened over the past few years, and then I, I feel like a lot of people would be swayed by that. It's possible. Yeah, they're always they're always in a gun-free zone, which is, you know, pretty sad. You know, we got, you're going to have uh, armed guards everywhere, but around a school. Or, I mean, well, we got a big can of worms here. We have... There's hundreds of millions of guns in the United States. It's, it's too late to come to the point where you think you're going to, you know, go after all these law-abiding people that are going to stop crime like this. You know, they don't care about all the 500-plus the murders a year in Chicago. You don't see them going door-to-door, kicking doors down there. Mm. But uh, they're after all law-abiding citizens to, you know, you can't have this magazine. You can't, you know, they're, they're, they're he just banned the importation of the Sager AK variant. Yeah, I heard uh, about that. No more AKs coming in. Now, yes, granted, there's... Probably millions of parts kits in sure. cosmoline plastic bags all over the United States. But now they're going to be going after the importation of the ammo. He just banned the uh, the the five four five thirty nine, which is technically called the seven and six. It's a steel core AK seventy four round. I mean, I used to have twenty thousand rounds of it in my closet. My it was cheap. It was sixty nine bucks for now. Now that when you say it's banned, rounds. that just means new sales are banned, right? So if you were to possess the ammo, that wouldn't be illegal, or would it? Oh, uh, no more purchasing of it. No more bringing it into the country. I, I think if you already have it, it's okay. And they're writing it off as an armor armor piercing round, but it isn't. I mean, I heat treat metal for a living. I'm in the aerospace industry, and uh, that's no Rockwell sixty core in that round. I've shot it at AR four hundred plates all day long. I barely put the ding in it. Craig, but thanks for your call tonight, man. I do appreciate hearing from you. Good info, and and let us know if anything happens with the uh, the UN bill that that you're watching. I appreciate the call and the thoughts tonight. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Tony's in Tennessee. You're on Free Talk Live, Tony. Hey, what's going on, guys? Tony, we're doing a radio show. What's on your mind tonight? Oh, that's good. I had a question for your female guest, but then I saw you and I'm watching the stream. And I thought I'd ask you the same question. I just wondered if you shave your vagina. Well, uh, I don't have one. Thanks for the call, Tony. Toll-free numbers, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. But if I did have one, I would probably shave it. More coming up here in moments. You can take control (laughs) of the airwaves and bring up anything you want at 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. More coming up. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones adds, This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237, and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. 
Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. Whether it's gun freedom or your freedom to carry any weapon you darn well please, or podcasting, patents, we'll talk about anything you can take control here. In fact, Ellen will be sharing with us the uh, the remainder of her story, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, by the Electronic Frontier Foundation regarding the podcast attack. Uh, there's this patent troll that has been attacking Adam Carolla because they perceived him as the most popular and successful, financially successful podcaster and there's been a settlement in that case. We'll continue with that story here in a little bit. Our toll-free number is 855-453. And don't forget, you can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive uh, there on the site. And something else you can do is get yourself some Bitcoin. We told you before how to get your first Bitcoin wallet. You can go to blockchain.com and get hooked up with that in just a few moments. And once you've got your Bitcoin wallet then you're ready to put Bitcoin in it. You can go to ExpressCoin.com, and they are the best choice for buying Bitcoins, Dogecoin, and now also Litecoin, Blackcoin, and Darkcoin. You can get whatever one of those coins you want, and you can get them as low as... You can go all the way down to less than 40 bucks. In fact, if you buy less than $40 worth of Bitcoin, and you use coupon code FTL, like Free Talk Live, at ExpressCoin.com, you will get the Bitcoin transferred to you for no transfer fee. Now, normally when you transfer one form of money into another form of money, they're going to charge you a fee. Someone will charge you a fee on that. ExpressCoin.com will not charge you a fee as long as you use code FTL and you buy less than $40 worth. Now, when you go over $40 worth, which you may want to do, uh, then it's a 3% fee. And that is incredibly reasonable. It's the best fee I've seen in the business. So go and use money order, check, wire transfer, or even cash deposit. Get started over at ExpressCoin.com and turn your cash into Bitcoins at ExpressCoin.com. And now available in Canada, as we continue here, we have Hung Like Jesus calling from Skype. You're on Free Talk Live. Uh, hey, Ian, and hey. the rest of you. Hey there. Hey, I was just reading here just now that um, GoFundMe has set up an account, or the people, or someone set up an account on GoFundMe for the uh, cop that killed the uh, Michael Brown in Ferguson, and uh, they've raised two. How much? Uh, it's, two, it's been uh, it's two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars now. Wow. And I'm pretty sure it'll be more than that before the weekend is done. That's crazy. Yeah, and you know, and I was and I was sitting back and I was wondering what that meant. 
you know, that people come together and give someone this kind of money for absolutely, I, well, I don't find a reason in it. And and to me, it says that um, this country that has continued to mean black people, not any good whatsoever, I don't see, it, it will continue to victimize us and then spit on us if we complain about being victimized, is what it says to me. And uh, I was just wondering, where where is this where is that where does that come from you know and i would have to ask a white person where does that come from and i'm pretty sure you'd probably be wrong one to ask that are you asking me where the support for this cop comes from no i'm asking where where the attitude comes from that that he deserves this kind of money for doing what he did he was judged during execution of this person in the middle of the street and people don't see that all they see is that black people are just complaining again about being victims so, you know, we, we need to go ahead and give him all this money because he deserves it for some reason. Okay, so um, we can all speculate, and I'd love to hear, you know, Ellen and Daryl, your speculation on this. So the cop who has allegedly shot this man to death uh, has raised over $200,000, or someone in his name has raised that money and will purportedly be giving it to the cop. Um, it's disturbing to me. Uh, that this is, you know, that this is going on, but I can't say I'm surprised. I don't know what amount I would have expected if somebody had come to me and said, "Ian, this cop's rate trying to raise money on Kickstarter, or what was it, GoFundMe? GoFundMe. Yeah. This cop's trying to raise money on GoFundMe. What do you think the total will be? I don't know what I would have said. I, I don't know what would would have been a, even a ballpark or realistic prediction. But I certainly know there are these cop fillators out there." who they love the police, they don't think the police can do anything wrong. Whether this is a racial racial issue or not is another question. There, there's certainly the possibility that some of the people supporting that are, are absolutely racist and, you know, they just want to support anything that's going to keep uh, the black man down. That's, I would say there's, you know, some percentage of that is is that, but another percentage of it is is probably just straight up police worship, that they believe that whatever the police say is true, so they, you know, whatever this man's story is, and I I haven't heard the cop's story. I've heard little snippets of what he's claimed. He claimed he was attacked by uh, Michael Brown in uh, in Ferguson, and you know, was uh, there was some sort of a fight in the police car, or whatever. Uh, claims to have been uh, beaten up. So there are people who will believe every single word that comes from the police's mouths, and those people will be likely to support this officer. They probably think this officer's a victim. That this poor officer, he's been persecuted in the media by all these people for what he did, and. He he was just trying to shoot a man who was threatening his life, even though he shot him allegedly in the back and all that. From like 35, 35 feet, feet away. away. Didn't the autopsy report reveal that he was shot in the face? Directly? Uh, I think yes. From the front. And that actually uh, goes along with the eyewitness testimony that after the first couple of shots were fired, that he turned around. So he was walking away, hands up. The first couple of shots... Uh, based on the reports that I've read, appeared to have struck him in the arm. And so then he turned around and said, stop shooting, I'm not armed. Hands Mm. up in the air. And based on at least one account, he then got on his knees to further signify, I'm surrendering to you. And it was after he got on his knees that he apparently lowered his head and then got shot in the top of the head. Oh, my God. So this officer was just shooting because he was angry at this point that he had run off and he was not obeying his orders originally. Certainly possible. So would you guys like to speculate on some of the reasons why someone would support this fundraiser? Honestly, I think I don't think it occurs to a lot of people that government officials or police officers or, you know, anybody that holds authority can be wrong in any situation. I think that's true. And I, I think that there's a lot of people out there that I uh, believe this policeman was just doing his job protecting the public. And, you know, if this guy wanted to keep his life, he should have just done what the police officer told him to. And now he's being punished for doing what he was told to do. And that's not right to some people. Like, he was just following orders. He should still be making a living because he's got a family and he was trying to do a good deed. I think that's spot on. There's a certain segment of the population who, as I said, they'll believe anything they're told by not just the police, but the government in general. Uh, they're, the, they're the same kind of people who will write off the jail. Like, for instance, here in Keene, New Hampshire, where we're doing the show, the jail is in a very visible location. It's out on one of the main roads into town. It kind of is on this 
not really a cliff, but a, a, a steep hill, and it sort of overlooks things, and it's really ominous, and it's obviously there. And some people are upset about that, because they don't want to think about the people that are in that jail. They don't want to think about them as human beings, because as soon as you get arrested, as soon as you get a criminal charge, you're a criminal to this, these type of people, and that means you're less than human, and so anything that happens to you is a non-issue, but anything that happens to the the police officers is very a very much concern to these individuals because they believe the police are the you know the line of protection between them and uh, the you know the scumbags out there. So Daryl, we'll come back with your speculation yes. on who would uh, who would support such a fundraiser and hung like Jesus. If you want to hang on for the conversation, we'd love to have you. So stand by. He is, by the way, on Skype, and that's his Skype name. I don't know what his actual name is. It's just the name that came up here. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you'd like to join us on Skype, as our guy Hung here is doing, you can contact us through username lrn.fm. We're Free Talk Live coming up. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. It takes a lot of courage to face your own death, but I'm glad I finally did. See, I was putting off getting life insurance to protect my family, even though I knew it was important. Then my neighbor's husband died. I watched her struggle emotionally and financially. It really made me face reality. If my husband died, how would I pay the mortgage, the car payments, or keep up the life the kids and I had? I realized I needed to get us life insurance right away. So I called AIG Direct. In less than five minutes, I had a quote. I was shocked at how affordable it is. Just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing my family has protection. Call AIG Direct right now for a free no-obligation quote. The call takes less than five minutes, and you can save up to 70%. Call now, 1-800-463-7479. That's 1-800-463-7479. 1-800-463-7479. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You know how annoying it is when someone keeps stopping mid-sentence as though he or she were asking you a series of questions? Avoid doing that. It sounds unnervingly tentative, and it imposes upon the listener to help you complete the thought. And if you're a job seeker, this alone could be a deal killer. An effective communicator sounds more confident. Complete the thought. Avoid making the listener impatient. With money and attention so scarce now, Effective communication skills have never been more important. Cutting through the clutter, rather than blending into the blah, 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 will help you connect better no matter what the conversation. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. 
SurvivalSpeech.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can share your thoughts here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We're talking about the officer who has been accused of shooting Michael Brown in uh, Ferguson. His name is Darren Wilson, and there's been a fundraiser that has been started. Actually, two Two. of them. Uh, The first fundraiser has raised over $230,000 by over 5,900 people. For this officer, and then they started another one. You and I, Daryl, were kind of looking into this during the break. Uh, The first fundraiser is over. They now have a new fundraiser. The first fundraiser, they while they were apparently doing the fundraiser, they determined that they wanted to give the money to a charity, but they couldn't change it over during the, the existing fundraiser, so they had to end the first one and start a new one. So the first money is going to go directly to the officer, the over $200,000. The next fundraiser that has already begun and is now has over twenty dollars or $30,000 into 27, it. 27000 uh, That one will go to this some charity for cops. Shield of Hope. Shield of Hope. And so I guess the difference being that the charity one people can do as a tax-deductible thing. Yes. So the question that our guy on the line here, uh, Hung Like Jesus, has asked, and we're going to get back to his question here in a moment, is who would donate to something like this? And, Daryl, we hadn't gotten your answer. We're going to do that in a moment. Also, want to let you know about My Magic Mud. It's a holistic remedy for your teeth that removes plaque and detoxifies the mouth of bacteria that causes cavities. Gives you a dentist clean every time you use it and is gentle on the enamel. And I have to say, Free Talk Live co-hosts have been picking up some of this My Magic Mud, and the results have been very positive so far. In fact, it's not like anything you've probably ever had in your mouth as far as cleaning agents go, because this is a powder. Unlike every toothpaste you've ever had, this is a black powder. It's actually safe to swallow. The ingredients used in My Magic Mud are used as dietary supplements, so it's an effective whitener and you can swallow it. Plus, it strengthens your teeth and promotes healthy gums, reverses sensitivity, and soothes any pain you might be dealing with. My Magic Mud was created by Jessica Armand. She's a liberty-loving, homeschooling mother of three, and you can go to learn more and purchase your jar today. You get something like 150 uses out of one $25 jar. From what I understand, it's been great so far uh, for me and my loved ones. MyMagicMud.com. Go get your uh, magic mud there. And you can also listen to an interview with biological dentist Dr. Griffin Cole, where he explains a lot of the benefits of My Magic Mud. That's MyMagicMud.com as we continue here. So, Daryl, we were going to get to your speculation for Hung Like Jesus, who is still on the line with us here on Skype. As far as uh, why, what, who would give money to a, a fundraiser for this cop who is an alleged killer? Well, and I don't really have to speculate because thanks to the power of the Google machines, I was able to find some of the comments that were mm-hmm. left on the original fundraiser, and I will share some of those with you. Please. Oh, great. Uh, one of the people who donated $50 under the name American Crusader mm-hmm. says, Waste of good ammo. It's my privilege to buy you a replacement box. Oh, geez. There's someone who posted by the name Mike was going to jail for robbery who donated $100 that says, And I quote, black people can be their own worst enemy. I'm not white. Take the energy and protest to Chicago where blacks kill blacks daily by the numbers. Don't test or go against a cop. He was shot six times because he was a giant. Wouldn't stop or die. Evil people don't die quick. Uh, There are... Other comments saying that he wasted his bullets. It was a waste of bullets. Here's money to buy a new one. Mm-hmm. And other things that basically imply that police can do no wrong. Yep. And as I was thinking, the people that would donate are the ones that think that cops can do no wrong. If Absolutely. you just do everything a cop says, 
You'll be then fine. You'll be fine. If the cop tells you to fillet him on the side of the road, you do it and then take it up with the judge later. Yeah. So there you go. There's a, th- those are our ideas. I think uh, basically sums up to people who love the police, believe they can do nothing wrong, some, probably some racists thrown in there uh, as well. So there you go. What, uh, what are your thoughts, Hung? Well, you know, and that's what I was going to bring up. Some of the commentary behind the Hill situation has been, and, you know, he read some of the more tame ones, and I've read some stuff that was just absolutely ridiculous that people were saying. And and that's in my whole uh, my whole uh, thing is that the commentary behind it has been so hateful. Mm-hmm. And it's not just people that love cops. It's people that hate black people that do it. They hate sure. the fact that we could even – complain about being victim a victim of anything and then if you do complain about being a victim well you know just suck it up because you know you deserve it for some reason or another and it's sickening all this is going to do is all this is going to do is when this when this when this cop is not charged you think what they did in ferguson was was protesting when this cop is not charged i think it's going to be a nationwide thing people just get tired of being mm. kicked all the time and it's going to come to a head and it's, i think it may come to a head when this thing when this when this guy skates again when another cop skates again for the how many ever times it's happened you may be right about that hung and i thank you for the call tonight i appreciate hearing from you the toll free number is 855 450 free let's continue here and we've got Someone calling d- themselves dumb like Allah, listening in Arizona. You're on Free Talk Live. Well, Ian, I wanted to confront, uh, speaking of being crucified by the masses, uh, hung like the Jesus. Uh, I don't know if, if that's a reference to the crucifixion or if, it, if he thinks the cross is a phallic symbol. But uh, I do... Uh, one of these days, I hope and pray that the truth shall, shall set him free and that uh, he will stop viewing the world through a racial prism. I try to pay as little attention to this uh, local story, gone local, national, and uh, and since it's gone national, there's been rioting and looting, looting, and I'm sure somebody that calls himself hung like Allah or hung like Jesus doesn't think there's anything wrong with that because he made no mention of that. But what I am concerned with is with things like what Daryl does, is he takes posts on the an internet and reads the worst of all out loud. But I wanted to suggest to Hung like Bejesbus that there are probably some people that think that the officer has been crucified in the media and that he very well might be innocent because of some of the things I have heard, like about the autopsy report, is that he was shot four times in the arm at very close range before the fatal shots to the head. And some of the things I've also heard are like— When you say the officer the is innocent, innocent of what? I didn't say he was innocent. I, didn't, I don't know if he's innocent or if, why he shot the man. What I am trying to suggest is some other things that I have heard that— hung like the Jesus has not even bothered to mention. And I'm trying to finish the thought. I don't doubt for a second that Darren Wilson uh, fatally shot Mike Brown. That I don't doubt, and I don't believe anybody doubts. What I do have concerns about is the fact the man's been crucified in the media. Riot and loot, rioting and looting has happened. When I come to find out days after those riots and loot start, looting started, that this big young man, uh, possibly strong-armed a 7-Eleven to buy cigars, which we all know that he also had met, uh, marijuana in his system, and we all know what— we Well, all there's know some what question about whether or not he was the one blunt. who was robbing the convenience store. Uh, again, I, I don't know if that's true or not, Ian, but I have heard it suggested that it is him on film, strong arbor, armor, uh, strong-arming robbery, a 7-Eleven, not long before he died. Uh, and I also has, have had it heard on an other intelligent conservative talk radio, Ian, that the man, uh, actually, his accomplice that said that uh, Mike Brown was turning his back and putting his hands up, the man that he was with that said that is a crook that has been uh, uh, found guilty of lying in false police reports and other gangsterism. James, thanks for the call uh, tonight. Appreciate hearing you. from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Kudos to James. He actually managed to stay on topic. You know, lots of times he's all over the map. 
More on the way here. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up what you want. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on Liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at Liberty.me. I love being a member of Liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. I I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Does advertising on the Genesis Communications radio network actually bring positive results? Let's ask Thomas Baldrick from Freeze Dry Guy. Thomas, talk about customer service at GCN. GCN is extraordinary in how they take care of their customers. The bottom line, Freeze Dry Guy keeps advertising on GCN because it works. If you'd like to experience unbelievable customer service, call Lee Wickenhauser at 877-996-4327, extension 107. Free Talk Live. Your show is dangerous for people. Yes, it is very dangerous for the, for the state. And it's dangerous for the status quo. It's, it's dangerous for the status quo, Bob, and it's dangerous because people like you who only want one particular message, and that is crack down, put all those people in jail. We need to bust the border up and we need to hurt peaceful people. That's what your message is. Yours is the real dangerous message because you're the one who's advocating aggression against peaceful people. Don't you think that's shameful? No, I think if it's against the law, you shouldn't be advocating against the law. I'm for the law. Ding, ding. If you break the law, hey. it's... it's- In the 1860s, it was against the law for black people to escape from their masters. Do you think they should have been brought back? No. Okay. You're a lawbreaker. The United States made it against the law for Indians to uh, mix with white people. Do you think that that was a good law? No. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink, providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. All you have to do is dial in toll-free here to the ProXPN toll-free line. It's 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features waiting for you on the site. Again, freetalklive.com. You get to actually create the content that what you see as you scroll down the uh, the front page. There's news stories, blog posts, things like that that are linked to there, YouTube videos, etc. You can link to anything 
uh, on the internet there, and then uh, others can vote. Other listeners like you can vote up or down whether you like or dislike what you see. Now, it's all Reddit-based, so you will need a free Reddit account and a free Free Talk Live account. You'll link those two together in a very short process, and it'll be very easy for you to submit and vote on content right there at freetalklive.com anytime you want. So go and check that out. And something else you might want to look into if you are a coffee drinker, coffee.freetalklive.com. That is how you go to get a free pound of some of the best coffee out there, BuzzBox. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and one percent top 1% grade Arabica. BuzzBox is priced competitively with other high-end coffees, but they're doing something special that you don't get from those other coffee companies. They've actually set up a program that allows people around the world to buy into their coffee co-op. Now, something else they're doing is teaming up with World Vision and Free Talk Live to allow for microloans to be given out to people around the world in very difficult uh, places of the world to live uh, and make a living so microloans can help out a lot. Every 10 listeners that signs up at coffee.freetalklive.com gets on the auto ship program will fund one microloan to some folks around the world. So you can help change people's lives for the better, and you can get great coffee all at the same time. Start by getting your free pound by just paying the shipping cost, and you can cancel your subscription at any time. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com to get started there. That's coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's go to Nick. He's in Austin, Texas. Nick, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, what's up? I just uh, First off, I'll, let me turn my radio down. I'm sorry. Sure, no problem. I just wanted to say... I just wanted to say thanks for all you guys do. I'm sure I speak on behalf of the other 14 listeners that you guys have when I say that you guys really suck balls. Oh, thanks for the call. Well, that's really awesome. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I did drop his call on that one because it could be cons- could be considered, or dump his call, rather, because it could be considered uh, prurient. T- tailored to the prurient interest yes. uh, could have been considered obscene, depending on how it was interpreted. So, you know, if you want to call in with a crank call, I like a good crank call. I like a- let's, let's give some advice to these people who are yeah. crank calling in the first place. If you're going to do it, at least don't use vulgarity. That way you can stay on a little that bit longer. That way you'll get on a little longer. You'll probably make it through. You won't get, you know, the dump machine won't hit your call. So stay away from the F-bomb, the uh, the S-bomb. And the other bombs. You genital can't say. references, stay away from. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the, now it's okay to reference genitalia, but to reference it in a way that is sexual or, you know, tailored to the sort of the prurient interest, then that's a problem. So the caller earlier who asked if I shaved my vagina, that's not necessarily sexual. That's just a question about grooming. Right. Um, but, you know, the question uh, that we just had a moment ago was a you know, sounded related to fellatio to some extent, and yeah. so had to let that one go. Toll-free numbers, 855-450-FREE. But come up with something more creative, something actually funny, because, the, you know, the level that that guy was at is basically a high school level, if that, maybe even middle school level crank Yeah, that, that was like, you know, yeah. middle school, elementary school. See, if I was friends with that guy, I wouldn't even laugh at it, listening to that. I know, like, he has to come up with something a little bit more creative and original than just that. Like, what what are they going to do? High five and say, like, oh. You got I, him, man. <laughs> <laughs> and really, 14 listeners, there's, what, like 1,500 downloads or yeah. listens just to the podcast that gets uploaded in like a single day, there's 160 a radio stations across the country that carry the show. It's not a whole lot. I mean, we're not one of the biggest shows out there, but nor do we pretend to be. Right. You know? And clearly so, we don't suck, as he says, because, you know, you LRN has been spreading its its wings lately, hasn't it? Well, I don't know what that means. Like uh, getting getting new listeners. You're opening up. Uh, you've got like more to be the truth. radio stations I, signing you know, on. Free Talk Live's been added to at least 15 stations in the last year. Okay, Free Talk Live, yes, has been added to actually probably more like 15 stations this summer. It's been pretty busy uh, so far this year. But LRN.FM is just my little internet uh, project, and I wouldn't say that's been adding stations. Although there are a couple stations in Fredericksburg, Texas, that emailed me recently, and they said they've been airing the uh, LRN.FM stuff for, for nice. a while. So wow. you never really know where the pirate radio stations are that are that are picking up the signal. And I, I appreciate them wherever they might happen to be. Let's go to Eric Freerock from Coplock.org and Coplock Radio uh, via Skype. Hey, Eric. Hey, and if you want really funny clips, you can check out Jimmy's clips 
from Liberty Bits. Tell me about the Liberty Bits. I know that's not the reason you were calling in tonight. You actually had something else you wanted to discuss, but uh, I think this deserves to be plugged, and honestly, we haven't talked about it on the air yet, so uh, go ahead. What is it? Okay, so I've been taking uh, uh, shows like Free Talk Live and Peace News Now and cutting them up uh, into more digestible pieces uh, for YouTube. So I've been taking the, the, the YouTube video, downloading it and chopping it up. And especially oh, it's wow. nice for Free Talk Live because you'll jump from – you'll have like three segments spaces between – going to a topic and coming back to it. Yeah. So I've condensed them all into one video so the video stays on, on topic for the whole thing. So you've um, been uh, taking some of Jimmy's calls, and he's he's a good crank caller. Like, he's a good example, somebody who's kind of come up with a character and scripts out some of the things that he's going to say, and you've been highlighting some of his calls? Yeah, exactly. So he's got his own playlist, so you can, as Neat. more calls come in, uh, I'll put them into the playlist. So and apparently the, the Rand Jimmy Paul playlist. has a playlist as well. <laughs> yes, Rand Paul now has a playlist too. Now you're calling those, this Liberty Bits? Liberty Bits, And yes. where does one find the Liberty Bits? Uh, you can find it on YouTube, youtube.com slash Liberty Bits, all one word, and also on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Liberty Bits. I think it's a cool idea because, and I don't know if it was you that was saying this the other day, but... It can be hard to share a three-hour-long show with somebody that you want to hear one topic. Yeah, he, so. he was actually saying that on my radio show, uh -huh. Peace, Love, Liberty Radio, where I had him on this past Sunday. Excellent. Yes, I, I listen to LRN.FM, so I don't remember if I'm actually having the conversation about the issue <laughs> or if I've heard someone else having that conversation. But Liberty Bits, so who else are you chopping up? I mean, you're working on Free Talk Live. You said Derek J's Peace News Now. Yep, uh, those are the main two. Um, I was actually in studio with Derek J for Cop Lock Radio this past Wednesday, mm -hmm. so I'll probably cut up that as well, and I'll probably do more uh, live in person with Derek J, so that show will probably start moving into the rotation. And I love I can it. get more shows as I go, but Free Talk Live takes, uh, since it's daily, it, it kind of takes the majority of the time. It sounds like it would be time-consuming, and uh, I'd just like to clarify, I didn't hire you to do this because I can't afford that, but uh, what? how are you going to make money off of this, or is it just a labor of love and activism kind of thing? Uh, it's a little bit of both. I'm hoping that eventually the the views will go up as more content is generated and, and I can monetize the channel. You know, I when you first told me about this, I thought, oh, I should offer to let him upload videos to the Free Talk Live YouTube channel. But that wouldn't really help you in any way because we hardly have any subscribers. Right. So uh, that's because our channel is relatively new and we don't really push it that often. In fact, I haven't mentioned it in a long time. <laughs> so thanks uh, for, for mentioning that, Eric. And thanks for doing all that work because it sounds like it's a really valuable project. And I hope that people will check it out because you're, you're cutting them into shareable chunks which you know means that something at some point could go viral, and then maybe you'll get some more subscribers out of that, and maybe be able to turn it into a you know meal or two or something that, like that. That's the goal, I guess. <laughs> cool. So what else? What else were you calling about tonight? Because I well, know that I, wasn't it. Right. I also wanted to call um, in regards to people are finally waking up to the police abuse that happens mm. all around, and at the beginning of this year, uh, cop block the Facebook page started taking off like crazy. Um, it mostly started with the Thomas Kelly uh, verdict where, where the cops were let off for, for his killing out in California. Thomas and Kelly was the guy that, while being executed by the police, uh, screamed out, what was it, something like 50, 56 times, like, help me, I want my dad, mm, right. I'm... You know, having trouble breathing. Please stop. I'm sorry. Right, and um, so that it it really took off from there, and it's been growing exponentially. So at the beginning of the year, we were at about forty thousand likes, and as of about fifteen minutes ago, the Coplock Facebook page has crossed one million. Wow, wow that is so Sally. impressive. Congratulations. So now the only law enforcement uh, related Facebook page that has more likes is the Cops Television Show. Yes, so we they got about four hundred thousand more, but uh, Coplock has 
400,000 more likes than Police One. That's excellent. Some belated applause for you there. Cop Block's doing great work. Copblock.org, great police accountability website, decentralized, encouraging people to hold the police accountable by recording video and posting it online and asking tough questions. And uh, what well, Cop Block Radio is on LRN.FM on Wednesday nights after Free Talk Live. Thanks, Eric, for the call tonight. There's more coming up here. This is Free Talk Live. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.49 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,279 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $510. Antiwar.com reports, Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel laid out a particularly hysterical view of the ISIS threat, insisting they post a threat to literally every national interest the U.S. has everywhere and that the U.S. has to prepare for everything in the latest war. It isn't hard to see where that viewpoint came from as other Pentagon officials talking about ISIS are showing a similarly alarming perspective as they continue to push the administration for escalations of the war. Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman Martin Dempsey presented ISIS as an apocalyptic opponent that can only be tackled militarily and pushed for the U.S. to expand the Iraq war into neighboring Syria, saying that's the only way to contain ISIS. When pressed on the U.S. escalating the war into Syria, Hegel was evasive, insisting only that ISIS continues to explore all options in their newest war. In the near term, this is likely to mean mostly an increase in the current air war inside Iraq as CENTCOM is pushing particularly hard for the U.S. to greatly expand its target list to allow the large number of warplanes already attacking Iraq to hit many more targets. The State Department has already chimed in with a request for another 300 ground troops in Baghdad, and further ground operations have already been reported to be in the works for the Anbar province along the border with Syria. Actually, escalating the war into Syria itself will be a huge step, and it may well be be the revelation of the failed rescue mission in Syria was part of a campaign to widen expectations for the war's eventual scope, giving officials the ability to argue the U.S. already added Syria to the war long ago. 
FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The French news service AFP reports the Australian tax office said cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin should not be considered as money or foreign currency when it comes to taxation. Instead, Bitcoins are a form of property. The decision follows a similar move by the IRS in March. The Australian tax office said in its guidance, transacting with Bitcoins is akin to a barter arrangement. The ATO's view is that Bitcoin is neither money nor a foreign currency, and the supply of Bitcoin is not a financial financial supply for goods and services tax purposes. Bitcoin is, however, an asset for capital gains tax purposes. The move disappointed the Australian digital currency industry, which said treating the supply of Bitcoins the same way as the exchange of a commodity meant that it would be subject to a 10% goods and services tax. Ron Tucker from the Australian Digital Currency Commerce Association said the move could send industry innovation overseas to places such as Singapore and Hong Kong. During the 2013 Porcupine Freedom Festival, Davi Barker presented an idea for a renegade psychological experiment. Since then, he has refined his idea and put his plan and research into writing. He explains, We aim to show the world beyond a shadow of a doubt that power corrupts absolutely and corrupt authority deserves no obedience. Authoritarian sociopathy is available from Amazon.com and all major bookstores. The New York Times reports a poll taken since a white police officer in Missouri shot dead an unarmed black teenager shows blacks and whites sharply divided on how fairly the police deal with each group, along with a rising feeling, especially among whites, that race relations in the country are troubled. The latest New York Times CBS nationwide poll shows that most white respondents reserved judgment on whether the fatal shooting of Michael Brown was justified. Most black respondents say it was not. The poll does show consensus that the military-style equipment used by the police in Ferguson should not be in the officers' hands. Two-thirds of all Americans surveyed said assault rifles and tanks should be reserved for the military and National Guard. One respondent said, There are too many people on the police force who act without thinking, and they shouldn't have access to assault weapons. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Shortly after beginning his first date with area woman Pauline Geary, smitten local man Brad Holtman told Onion reporters he couldn't believe that the woman was also a fan of the 1960s British rock band, The Beatles. We were just talking about music and she mentioned that she liked The Beatles, which is crazy because I love The Beatles, actually. Yeah, funny thing is, I was not really even looking forward to the date. Uh, I figured we'd get a drink or whatever, but It's turning out a lot cooler than I thought it was going to. I mean, she's just such a huge fan. She knows all the Beatles' names. She even owns some of their albums. I've been a Beatles fan since like sixth or seventh grade, so I don't want to get too excited and jump into something. So I think I'm going to ask her if she's ever seen The Godfather, which is probably my top five movies of all time. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can talk to us about whatever happens to be on your mind. We have been discussing, uh, actually at some point tonight, gun restrictions, Ferguson, the situation there. Apparently the cop is now doing their fundraisers being done for the cop. And uh, we talked about that. Plus, you can, of course, bring up anything you want. We talked about the patent troll, and we still have to get back into that. Uh, Ellen started out the show with a story about Adam Carolla, who is not the troll. He's the one who's being attacked by the troll. And uh, we had sort of an update from that case from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. But only the good part, not the bad and ugly yet. 
we got to get to the bad part of the story. Uh, we will do that. Your calls come first, however, and we have Abel on the line in, I presume he's in New Hampshire, uh, via Skype. Our Skype username, by the way, is lrn.fm. Go ahead, Abel. We are in New Hampshire, and Grafton, no less, actually. So it's a, a special place, I think, uh, for us all here. But uh, I, I uh, um, want to say that... Uh, <laughs> businesses of the people uh, they have been so brainwashed to love police officers they mm -hmm. they are you know I, it's like oh my goodness there couldn't be anything wrong these people are doing you know and they and they they bank on that you know people they they kill themselves. There there are plenty of suicides out there. Right in Bedford, New Hampshire, uh, the the guy who stole the the leather jacket that was had the insignia of the cop uh, motorcycle club. Now wait a minute. Point of Kill clarification: the guy you're talking about. This was a news story from a, like a year or two ago, and this guy was a cop, wasn't he? Bedford, right. This guy was a cop yeah. who stole oh, yeah. a jacket. I mean, it, it, right. And, and he's and, killed himself. Oh yeah, he's dead. Uh, and, and and wow, and, there, there were two and, people that were being charged in this case, hmm. and one of the two committed suicide before the trial. Were both of them cops, or just the one that committed suicide? I believe they were both cops. Interesting. All right, there, go ahead. There was there was also a suicide in uh, in Michigan. Uh, Northern Lower Peninsula. I can't remember the details of it, but but the uh, uh, the father of 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 the young man that was killed by the police, you know, in in some pretty questionable situation, uh, the, you know, the guy had money from the from the settlement. I mean, there was a civil rights settlement, and and uh, and and that and a police officer killed himself. Uh, you know that. The, the fact is, is that, that, that even, even what we may think is social or socio or social uh, uh, psychopaths, uh, you know, operating as police officers are, you know, they're, they're vulnerable to their own mess and, and, and mm. to not, to not actually, you know, I, you know, the, the, the fact is, is this Michael Brown, uh, the, the, Phillips should give the, the to, to to that family. They're without a son. Should give what? He's I'm sorry. Who's Phil, Phillips? Should give what now? Isn't, isn't Phillips the name of the cop? Isn't wasn't that his? No, Darren, Darren Wilson. 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 I'm sorry. I'm You're saying that he should give the money that the over two hundred thousand dollars that was raised to the family of the man he killed. That that would be just. Just Abel, thanks for the call tonight. We've got to let you go. You've got a jittery uh, call there tonight. It might be the, uh, the internet out there in uh, the woods and so hot uh, this evening, calling us from Grafton, New Hampshire, which is really kind of in the middle of nowhere. Like, yes. if you want to be away from everything, Grafton is a great place to be. Our toll free number is 855 450 free. But I share some of his concerns uh, with these cop lovers. I mean, these people who they cannot believe the police could do something wrong and when faced with evidence of the police doing something wrong it they just simply deny it well they can't deal with the cognitive dissonance right they don't want to accept they're wrong now what does that mean a cognitive dissonance what, what does that mean uh that's basically when you believe something and then suddenly you see proof that what you believed was not true and like in your mind you see the degree of separation that true the the idea that you hold and the reality and um, basically, you can't handle the difference, so you just reject it. Because you don't want to be wrong, right? I mean, isn't right. that kind of where the, it's a matter where it comes of from? ego, really? Like, is it more important to you to be right or to know the truth? Great question. And a lot of people don't want to know what the truth is. And I don't know what the truth is in the case of Michael Brown. I wasn't there. And there's no video of the actual shooting, as I, far as I understand. I've heard there's an aftermath video, which I haven't seen yet. I but saw one aftermath video where uh, somebody had walked up, presumably several minutes after the incident had happened, because they already had the entire street blocked off with mm -hmm. police tape. And he's there videotaping, and 
you can hear some people that are nearby, one of whom saw what happened, and he's sort of giving a play-by-play of this is what happened. Gotcha. And he's like, wait, so if he was walking away, why is his body facing back towards the car? They're like, oh, he turned around. Turned around during the shooting. During the shooting. Yeah, I did see a video of the aftermath. It was some woman that lived in the apartments above right where he was shot, and uh, she didn't get footage of the actual shooting, but Mm -hmm. it was immediately afterwards, like seconds after she heard the shots firing, she went and grabbed her camera and started filming what she saw. And basically what you see in the video footage is... Uh, Michael Brown's body lying on the ground, uh, and there's two police officers there, and one of them is uh, Wilson, the guy who shot him, right. and he's looking around bewildered, like looking at the body, looking away, uh, taking really strange stances. You know, he looks very uncomfortable, just bewildered. It can't be easy. I mean, even as uh, as a psychopath, um, I mean, I guess for a psychopath it could be easy, but uh, taking somebody's life for the average person is not an easy thing yeah, to do. Yeah, how I'm does sure. he explain that away to the cop who's standing right next to him? Like he's probably traumatized and also scared because he knows that he did something wrong and he's got to find a way to solve it. Now, Daryl, there was something. Uh, there were a couple things you pointed out during a break. I think it was during the top of the hour news about the Michael Brown allegations because we had a guy call in last hour who was suggesting that. Uh, he had robbed the store, and I said, well, there is some video footage that suggests maybe it wasn't him that was robbing the store right. of the cigars, and you would uh, come across some other information about yeah, that. Yeah, so he said that it was a 7-Eleven. It was, in fact, a the locally owned... Uh, right, the caller had said it was a 7-Eleven. was actually a locally owned market by the name of the Ferguson Market. Mm-hmm. The person that called 911 was not the clerk and was not the owner of the store. Another angle of surveillance video shows the person that, you know, allegedly stole this box of cigars putting money on the counter Hmm. before attempting to leave. And then the other video camera shows where he grabs the guy by the shirt and pushes him back. And it was during the incident where he grabbed the guy by the shirt and pushed him back that one of the customers in the store called 911. Now, who was it he grabbed by a shirt? Do we know? Uh that I believe was the clerk. And what was that over? I mean, does anybody have any idea? Uh there was one report uh presumably from somebody that was there that said that he thought that the person was upset over being carded. Mm. And then there are discrepancies about the clothing that was being worn by the person in the video and Michael Brown. The person in the video is obviously wearing flip-flops. Michael Brown was not wearing flip-flops. Interesting. Uh, well, and it wasn't long after the incident. It was 10 minutes. Right. The, to, between the the robbery and the shooting, there wasn't much time that elapsed. Right. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So. Right. And, and the officer didn't even have the report of the... The call by the time that he had run into Michael Brown. Right. Well, that's so, one. Si- that's what one side claims, and the other claim is that uh, that he had gotten the report and that right. he was aware. But that still begs the question of: Is murder the appropriate response to a theft of alleged theft of a forty nine dollar no. ninety six cents no, box of not. cigars? That neither the owner nor the clerk thought was important enough to call 911 about. Because apparently they got paid. You said he slapped down some money on the counter. Yes. The toll free number is 855 450 free. You can share your thoughts here. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. 
Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Did you agree? Did you totally agree? I'll bet that you did. But did you read the agreement? There are 7 billion people on Earth, and there are over 6 billion active cell phone accounts right now. And every one of them came with an agreement. Billions have already agreed to allow entities that they do not know to use and abuse every feature of their mobile devices. Your computer activity is monitored and archived. Your car is tracked, and even your face is scanned. The current power structure grows more fearful every day of your desire for anonymity, independence, free association, freedom of movement, freedom of expression, and your freedom of thought. And entire categories of humans will be targeted. And if they then those that won't leave us alone determine that we are not within their control, then we will be categorized as out of control. FreedomsPhoenix.com will launch the next phase of the Levolution by the end of the summer of 2014. And if you have to tell your neighbors about it, then we did it wrong. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters? And sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com. You're listening to the best liberty oriented audio streamed around the clock on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. Just dial toll-free here to 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free, 855-450-3733. Coming up, Mark is going to be heading out to the first annual Marijuana Investment Conference in Houston on September 8th. He's going to be out there mingling and finding out what the trends are in the ancient and burgeoning field of marijuana. The market's new and wide open, and lots of people are going to be making, and already are, making lots of money. Now, this is not a pothead convention with bongs on sale. This is MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com. Uh, it's focused exclusively on bringing investors and legalized marijuana businesses together to create opportunities and grow the sector. And this is an exciting business that it really is exploding right now. Yeah, it's in Colorado and Washington today, but two years from now, there may be more states where we see legalized cannabis. Maybe we'll see New Hampshire one of these days as well. So, well, you've got, what, 20 states right now that have medical? the medical usage. 20-something, I think, like 22, 23, something like that. 
Uh, so yeah, this is an opportunity, and serious business people and investors are the folks you're going to find here at this uh, conference, and it is priced accordingly. So go and check it out. It's going to be happening in Houston at the Westin uh, on September 8th. That's the Westin Memorial City on September 8th. Uh, and then you can go and learn more over at MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com. Use coupon code FTL, and Mark is going to be there at the Marijuana Investment Conference, the very first one in Houston, September 8th. So MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com. As we go to the phones here, we talk to Blake in Illinois. You're on Free Talk Live. Blake. Howdy. Hey, you're on the air. All right. Um, I heard you guys were just talking about the uh, the whole Mike Brown thing. Um, so when they first can you came back out away from your phone? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can you like back off your phone, maybe uh, an inch or two or something like that? There's it's very distorted. Okay, is it, is it better now? A little bit. Go ahead. Okay. So um, I heard you guys talking about the whole Mike Brown thing. I just found out about the show uh, through watching that uh, Never Get Busted DVD. Um, You guys were talking about what happened in the gas station. Um, When that story first came out, I I'm not aware of anything happening in a gas station. No, you're talking about the uh, the convenience store? Yes. Yeah, the convenience store or whatever. Okay. Well, when that story first came out, I saw a, a screenshot of, you know, the images of him pushing the guy away and all that junk. Um, well, when I looked at it, it doesn't look anything like the guy. And if you zoom in and look at the timestamp, I'm pretty sure it says a different date than the, than the time that he got shot. It could be that the date's wrong on the system uh, or, I mean, you would think the... P- I mean, the police could screw it up, no doubt, but would they really botch it up that bad where they would release video footage from a day that wasn't even the day in question? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Maybe they were in a panic. I wouldn't uh, put I it past really them. Don't know. It could be. Exactly. Um, and what do you guys think about the whole rioting thing right now? How, how does that make you feel? What's happening with it? I haven't seen the news today. I know that there were some, some, you know, some there were some issues earlier this week, but I, I don't know much about what's happened within the last twenty four hours. Well, I, I don't I, support. Just... Uh, let Let me answer the question real quick. I support people okay. going out and protesting to mm-hmm. you know try to uh advance the point and bring attention to what is going on but i do not condone the destruction of property in the course of doing so yeah i, I couldn't get behind that either like using violent and angry methods in order to achieve something that's supposed to be you know a a good thing you know like if you're trying to reduce police violence and bring awareness to that then you know, committing crimes on a daily basis is really not a good way to do that. That's that's making I, you seem less credible. I completely and thoroughly agree with that. I feel like um, Ferguson as a community has made themselves look very ignorant. I've seen several videos of people rooting or looting stores and stealing like rims and stuff. Like what? What does that? What kind of good does that do? You know what I Nothing. mean? Like that just makes you guys look horrible as a community. You know what I mean? Well, that's, I don't know what, what you mean by you guys and a community. What so, are you referring to well, there? I mean, I mean Ferguson as a community. I mean, I understand. I don't look at people as. I don't look that, at people as a buildings. group. I look at individuals, and uh, and you know what I see there are individuals who are using uh, this controversy as a cover for utilizing the this as an opportunity to essentially rob and and uh and destroy property so that doesn't that doesn't say anything to me about a community it just says that like a lot of communities there are some bad people in this one right like these people that are looting are probably going to do that anyway it's just that now they have an excuse to all right, I guess not as a as a whole community. I just think it's it's kind of ignorant, and they're just literally using this as an excuse to hit a lick. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like that's, no, there's no that's doubt really about wrong. that. I, I Some feel people... like his parents wouldn't wouldn't stand for that at all. I feel like he wouldn't be happy about that. That there are some people that use a sports team winning a championship sure. as a reason to <laughs> yeah. go overturn police cars, set things on fire and break windows. Yeah, I've seen that like when I've seen the sports videos of people like hooligans or whatever just destroying things. 
I found myself wondering, did their team lose? No, turns out a lot of times the team wins and they go crazy like that. Yeah. So either way, whether it's good or bad, people want a reason to riot. It's Apparently, wrong. It's I mean, just... it's 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 clearly not the right thing to do. But when you grow a movement to the point where it's large. The thing is, you lose control. I mean, uh, as soon as you get get past ten people, you probably it's out of your control. Yeah. I mean, when people start to show up to something and then they do things you don't like, if you're in a public place, there's very little you can do besides distance yourself and say, "Whoa, that's not me. I'm not with those people. I don't appreciate that." You can speak out to them, but I also wouldn't blame somebody for being afraid of the, these criminals. I mean, these guys might shoot you. Who yeah. knows? They're probably just cowardly thieves. Yeah. But you don't know. I mean, you certainly don't want to jump in there and try to to, to rescue uh, the business owner's stuff because do you really want to put your, yourself on the line for a oh. barbecue grill? Right. And Ian, I think I, what I wouldn't. Right. I, I think one reason you haven't seen anything the last couple of days is the police out there in Ferguson are doing everything they can to separate the media from the protests. Really? Where they're having the media staging areas blocks away from where the protests are happening. They have a new policy that protesters are not allowed to stand still, that <laughs> you must be moving at all times. Wow. So That's the ridiculous. video that came out Tuesday night where the one officer was pointing his gun at mm. members of the media, those were people that had snuck in with the protesters. Oh, wow. And that, that's where the cops said, I'm going to effing shoot I'm you? I'm going to effing kill you. Yeah. And somebody said, what's your name? I mean, and he said, go F yourself. And luckily, I'm, uh, that police officer has been indefinitely suspended. Go ahead, Blake. I'm not a huge fan of the cops to begin with. I'm, I'm just, I'm really not. But looking at it from their point of view, when you have so many ignorant people burning down buildings and, you know. How many buildings have been burnt down? And, Hold on. And, well, How, one, one building. One building. All right, hang on. Blake, we'll let you come back here in a moment. I know you're new to the show. We'll, uh, we'll come back with you if you don't mind. Hang on, bring it back. Blake it's actually just found Free Talk Live by watching Never Get Busted, which I think on his second DVD, Barry Cooper actually included a little Free Talk Live advertisement nice. at the end, which was off awesome. Uh, we do love ourselves some Barry Cooper here, or at least I do. It's Free Talk Live. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy from Phil's Gang. If you've been nervous about investing in the current stock market, then you need to listen up. Phil's Gang is having a free webinar on Saturday, September 13th. That's going to be at noon Eastern time. You're going to learn how to invest in this type of market, not just the stock market, but you're going to be investing in yourself. Don't miss it. To sign up, go to LearnStocksForFree.com. That's LearnStocksForFree.com or call 877-600-4264. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. So if you're on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24 7 to help you we also have other pain relieving braces too for your shoulder ankle or back you may be eligible to get these items and more at little or no out-of-pocket cost our friendly representatives are standing by now to help you so please call now 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 
age, a technology is created that upends the foundations of society, the wheel, the printing press, the internet. Now, in a world sliding into financial chaos, a new technology is changing the way monetary systems work around the world. It is called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new form of money controlled not by banks, governments, or corporations, but through mutual commerce between free individuals. To learn more, visit WeUseCoins.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You bring up what you want by dialing toll-free here. It's that simple. 855-450-FREE. There's no ridiculous call screening process. In fact, we really don't want to know very much in advance about what you want to talk about. Just so, you know, a brief subject will be sufficient. That way we know what you're calling in about. Uh, a lot of talk shows will get into a lot of detail with you on the call screening side. We don't do that stuff. We just want to know where you're from, what your name is, what you want to talk about very briefly. And we'll get you on the air. And you can talk about anything that you want here on Free Talk Live. 855-450. Freeze the toll-free number. We've got Blake on the line in Illinois. He was actually watching the Never Get Busted DVD, one of them. I think there's been two or three of them. Uh, Blake, which one were you watching? Do you recall? I was watching the Never Get Rated. Never Get Rated. I think that was his second Which I DVD. found to be very informational. Yeah, you know, Barry Cooper is a great guy. I've had the chance to uh, spend some time with him in person. He actually came up here with his wonderful wife, Candy, uh, before they— That's awesome. Yeah, years before they left the country. They're now living in, in Mexico, as you may be aware, uh, having to have left after the Cop Buster series. Did they get— harassed i guess yeah he did a series called cop busters that's cop busters with a k where they basically did reverse sting operations on the police and got oh, them to oh yeah i've seen that that's really cool yeah and it's basically him catching them do illegal raids and stuff like that yeah, exactly and they didn't like that very much so they came after his kids and <laughs> uh, when he got his kids back they left the country so you can't blame him for that uh, but great great guy and he's just become more hardcore towards freedom over time as well which has been kind of fun to watch so uh, go and check him out at nevergetbusted.com but Blake uh, you were talking about I don't even know why we held you over at this point I didn't take uh, take any notes so what were, <laughs> what were you talking uh, about, about the thing in Ferguson and the media being so, segregated from the protesters okay so, I, I'm right, sorry so, I was being so censored there was a claim about <laughs> Buildings being burned down? Oh, yeah, that's right. You were saying buildings had been burned down, and you were sort of grouping okay, everybody in together. A, a building that has been burned down. But there's been several buildings that have been looted. Like, yeah. I've, I've seen people, you know, come out with rims. Like, what is looting a rim store going to do to help that? But my, my last point, basically, was there's, you know what I mean? There's so many people jumping on this bandwagon right now because there's, it's with, like, conspiracy theories and things, there's so many teenagers that 
don't have like a lot to do with their lives and you know it makes them feel good to be a part of something are, is it teenagers is who are I, out I, causing I agree, the destruction i mean i haven't seen a lot of the footage so i imagine a number of them are but is is it also i would imagine a lot of young men in their 20s are probably involved as well yeah yeah totally well i like i'm saying i i just feel like there's been so many people on this bandwagon and this protest has been going on so long I'm not a huge fan of the cops, but if I was a cop and I was working there right now, I would probably be pretty frustrated, too. Like, I can look at it from their point of view. Well, the cops have no one to blame but themselves. I mean, look, there's there's no doubt I agree with you that the, uh, the, the people who are looting out of control, that's totally unnecessary and destructive and shame on those people. And it's, it's wrong and they need to make right and make good and, and all that. Of course, it can be difficult to do that because, you know, unless you've got the video footage and it's crystal clear, you probably don't know who's doing it. Well, if you're um, shooing people along and you see somebody not carrying a flat screen television or something yeah. that had been looted from one of the stores that they just passed by... That person probably has not looted anything. It's probably a good indicator. So, yeah. you know, don't arrest that person. You look for the person that's carrying something out of the store being looted. So, yeah, yeah I get where you're coming from there. And looting is definitely bad, but the police don't have anyone to blame but themselves on this situation. I mean, the, it's the police who have for many years, and you know this as somebody who's watching Never Get Busted, uh, the police yeah. have threatened and intimidated and arrested, kidnapped, destroyed lives. They have ruined people's lives over this insane war on drugs. And that's why people in urban areas are smart. They're wise to the police. They know better than to talk to the cops. They know better than to uh, to interact with them. They know that they're out there looking to, to put them in handcuffs. They're not looking to protect and serve them. They're looking to arrest them and pad their arrest records and keep the money flowing into the department from the feds and the state and all that. So, I mean, the, if the police for decades had not been enforcing this insane war on drugs and arresting everybody's brother and sister and mom and dad— then maybe people would have a warmer spot in their heart for them. Maybe people wouldn't be afraid of them. Maybe people wouldn't be pushing back because they would feel like the police are their friends and the and, police and now are they're, helpful. I, you know, they're, they're resorting I, I mean, to... I, I, hold on one, one second, Blake. They're resorting okay. to, you know, like military-style weaponry, such as the Bearcats and other armored personnel carriers, to wind up driving around a protest area... They've got cops that are just randomly pointing weapons at people that are walking down the street near a protest mm -hmm. where, you know, a lot of times you're not seeing looting happening. You're seeing a cop pointing a weapon at somebody. You've got journalists that are being shot with beanbag rounds, shot with tear gas. And then you've got the captain of the highway patrol saying, we don't know who's a journalist and who's not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean well, go ahead blake i i mean i totally understand what you're saying about you know people being afraid of the cops because they're my worst fear for two years of my life uh, when i was 13 years old i had a cop terrorize me every night for two years straight because my mother's a lesbian and she got with another woman whose ex-husband was a cop oh no and um uh, so he didn't like that very much, and he for fucking like. Two oh, we gotta let you go, man. We can't have you saying those things on the radio. Oh, this sorry, is a sorry. radio show. Sorry about that. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it sounded like he was really passionate about the issue, and I can yes. appreciate that. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free, and what he was telling us was this. Uh, that he, you know, his mom was a lesbian, and she was with a lady who was at one time with a cop. And yeah. yeah, you don't want to be on the the, the bad end of uh, of an angry cop who's jealous. And can you jealous. blame him for cursing about it? Nope. Like being harassed for two years every single night for something like that? For I believe know. him too. I you know I mean I don't know the guy, but I believe him. Sounds yeah. totally plausible. Uh, we continue here. Your calls, thoughts, welcome. This is Bill. He's in Oklahoma City. Bill, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, greetings, uh, everyone. Um, I uh, have been listening and watching various uh, news media and, of course, uh, uh, participating in, in, in a civil discussion on social media. And one of the, 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 the questions that kept popping up was, you know, why do people loot, loot 
uh, or do uh, violent things during uh, civil unrest. And the only plausible answer I can come up with myself, and maybe you guys have a different take, it'd be interesting to find out, is that a lot of, of what uh, goes on on television is a direct reflection of how poorly the municipalities, state, and ultimately the federal gov government run. And I cite uh, the, tax, the taxes and how they work as an example. Um, a lot of people feel that the police department down in Ferguson is doing a lot of bad things. Unfortunately, you got uh, small businesses, medium-sized businesses, what have you, uh, that want to conduct commerce in the city of Ferguson. And in order to do that, they've got to play this little tax game with the city of Ferguson. Of course, the tax money gets divvied up and it goes to, you know, you know how all tax works. It gets divvied up to all the different uh, services that are supposed to be there for the people on behalf of the city. Um, if the tax, the tax system was changed to where you could opt out to say, uh, you know, you take taxes every year, you look at you look at the performance of the police department and say, well, I really don't agree with what they've done this last year. They I love people. that idea. I think it would be great if people could opt out of paying for different departments different programs that they don't value. And I think that maybe we can see something like that happen someday if we get enough people who care about freedom to move to New Hampshire and get active so we can actually see society change in a more freedom-oriented direction. I fully support that idea, Bill, and I thank you for the call tonight. I definitely appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You know, I still want to get to this Electronic Frontier Foundation, uh, or excuse me, Electronic Freedom Foundation. Frontier right? Foundation. Frontier Foundation. Okay. EFF. Just call them the EFF. The EFF. Anyway, I want to hear the bad part of the story that Ellen has teased earlier tonight, much earlier tonight. Hopefully, we'll get into that here in moments. Of course, we'll also take your calls. It's Free Talk Live. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Summertime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for summer specials, including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic, all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex, plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes, all on sale for summer at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988. Herbal Healer Academy. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on joined the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas 
of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up what you want. Just dial in toll-free here. Even in these remaining moments, there's enough time for you at 855-450-FREE. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you on our site. If you like the show, you can help support Free Talk Live in a variety of different ways. One of them is by becoming an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. The AMP program stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. The five bucks a month that it costs is money that we will invest into the show. Get on more radio stations, bring new internet listeners on board. In fact, I've been stacking up, I've got like a, you know, my to-do list here. I've been stacking up more stations to add in one batch. Just because Daryl, you've been so busy on the phones. Uh, we've had more stations coming in this summer, I think, than probably last year alone. I don't know. It seems like it's been quite a bit. And uh, so I'll be adding another batch of like five new radio stations to our list. So it's going well. And it's going great because of the AMP program. If, if it weren't for the AMP program, I wouldn't be able to afford to pay you, uh, Daryl, to do affiliate relations for the show. And you've been doing a great job on it. So thank you for that. And welcome aboard to all our new listeners out there. Uh, go to amp.freetalklive.com. You can help get behind the show. We don't just advertise to radio stations. We also advertise online through Google AdWords. And so we try to bring Internet listeners on board as well. Uh, plus, we're up on satellite across North and Central America as well as Africa, uh, but most of Africa. So go to amp.freetalklive.com. And coming up here in just over two months, Keenvention. It's back in its second year. Year, the second annual Keenvention, and I hope it continues on. I mean, obviously, we'll have to assess after this year to see how things go. We had about over 100 people attend last year, and I was really, really happy with the amount of attendance. It was actually large enough to be like to feel like a convention, but small enough to where it was intimate that you yes. could actually talk to everyone at the convention. You could know who everyone is, and that's a cool thing. So it's it's a lot of fun to, to do Keenvention. I spent some time on it. Uh, doing some organizing this week, we announced Lauren Rumpler as the host of the ladies panel uh, at Keenvention, and also, uh, let's see, Mark Warden is going to be hosting the legislative panel. Now, Mark, for those of you who don't know, is the two-time legislator of the year as awarded by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. He got A-plus ratings by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance two and years. for those keeping track, he's only served two terms which means that 50% of the time that he was a legislator, he was the legislator of the year. He is, uh, I think, a fine man to head up the legislative panel, so it'll be interesting to see who he selects uh, to be on that panel. And if you uh, if you missed it last year, you can go and get videos of all the panels and discussions, uh, the panels, the speeches. It's all there on keenvention.info. You can go and watch the whole thing for free. So go check that out. It's 60 bucks. Get you in for the entire weekend. Keenvention.info. Ellen, we started the show out this 
you know, the first hour uh, by talking <laughs> yeah. about this story that you have from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF.org, about Adam Carolla being attacked by this patent troll. And apparently there's been a settlement in the case, but it's sealed, so you can't know what the terms of the settlement are. EFF sort of speculates as to what they think the settlement involves, which is Adam Carolla paying no money, at least to the patent troll. But uh, you were going to get into this, uh, the bad part of the story, because they term this the good, the bad, and the ugly. So the good right. news is that the patent troll is likely going to stop going after podcasters at this Yay. point. Right. Well, they, they suffered a decent amount of damages just from legal fees. And, you know, basically Carol is showing that it's, it's not worth the money to go against podcasters because they have such a, a wide support base. And... Uh, the the company that is attacking them, Personal Audio, they clearly just don't have an understanding of the industry. You know, even even though they're the ones that supposedly own the patent for <laughs> podcasting. Yeah. So to get into the bad part of this story, by settling now, Corolla gives up the chance to make Personal Audio pay his fees. If a defendant mm. wins on the merits, it can get fees in de- in extraordinary cases. Winning fees would be a huge deterrent to future litigation from personal audio. That's true. Although the Supreme Court recently made it somewhat easier for victorious def- defendants to get fees, it is still a challenge. Moreover, the judge has a lot of discretion, and this case was in the Eastern District of Texas, a forum generally considered quite friendly to trolls, which mm. I've actually heard about this a little bit, where uh, this specific district in Texas is where most uh, patent troll litigation it takes place because the judges are friendly there right makes sense corolla's team likely made the calculation that fees would be a long shot even more important corolla also loses the opportunity to invalidate the patent if the case had gone to trial he would have argued that the patent was invalid because the so-called invention was described or made obvious by other people's work before personal audio filed its patent corolla would have been able to Hmm. use more prior art at trial than eff uh, challenges at the patent office are limited to printed publications. So EFF yeah. is uh, s- not suing really. They're co- they're going after this patent troll's patent in this case, and what they're yes. saying is their evidence that they can uh, they can ins- they can bring into play in this case in this administrative hearing at the patent office because they're challenging the patent with the patent office, not in court. Right. Uh, so what they're saying is only printed materials would be acceptable, whereas in Corolla's case, he could enter in all kinds of evidence. Well, he he could also bring in, you know, witnesses. Okay, so tell me, on this day, how did you create the .mp3 yeah. file? <laughs> right, it's, it's a ridiculous claim. As Charles Juan at Public Knowledge recently explained, if Corolla had won the on the invalid invalidity issue he would have defeated personal audio for all podcasters a troll can't sue with patent claims that 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 have been invalidated by court right they could come back is what they're pointing out right so not necessarily after corolla right but against other people so they could come after free talk live they could try i got nothing to give them though (laughs) (laughs) i don't own anything (laughs) For now, the television companies are still in the case and are headed to trial in September. If they don't settle and they went on invalidity, then they would also defeat personal audio for the entire public. And EFF's challenge at the patent office will continue. So personal audio's claim to own podcasting is not necessarily saved by the settlement. But the ugly part, or the most disappointing aspect of today's settlement, is how unsurprising it is. Almost every defendant, no matter how strong their case, ends up settling with Mm. patent troll. Litigation patent cases is extraordinarily expensive. Yeah, litigating patent cases is, is extraordinarily expensive. Corolla raised almost half a million dollars, and that still would not have been enough to fund a case through trial. Crazy. Trolls know this and use the cost of defense to extort settlements. Mm. In rare cases where someone shows a willingness to fight the end, the troll will often save its patent as the, at the last moment with a walkaway deal. This is likely what happened in Corolla's case, and also what happened when infamous patent troll Lodsys, L-O-D-S-Y-S, I don't know how you say that. Sounds right, Lodsys. Settled for nothing with Kapersky Lab to avoid trial. Hmm, I'm not really sure what Kapersky Lab is. Uh, I think that's an antivirus company. Hmm. 
Probably yeah, another patent troll. Yeah, I don't know what the case was uh, in that case. So what they're saying there is that even if you hold out to almost going to trial, that they'll walk away. They'll do this walk away deal at the very end. I wonder but what if was, what, yeah, right. It'll be interesting to see what the details are on this case and why did the why did he settle? Right, no, and we'll I, find I, that out in the beginning of September. I think that's when it's being released. I wonder if it's one of those things to where the defendant is not able to object to the other party leaving the case. Well, that was true. There was a headline a little while back from the patent troll saying that they were going to bail on the case, essentially. So, yeah, they're, uh, the, how would the defendant be able yeah, to force so him to stay? Fi- filed something with the court. We no longer wish to continue this trial. Right. As the defendant, you could file something to the judge saying, no, I want to take this to court. They're in a district that is very friendly yeah. to trolls, according to this article. So yeah. the judge is going to be like, uh, yeah, dismissed. dismissed. Right. Oh, well, the judge has already got their filing fee in the case. Why would they care about yeah. going all judge the way judge doesn't the care. End? He's getting paid one way or the He gets paid whether he hears a case or not. Well, again, which makes me wonder, why did they go to settlement? Uh, you know, what was it, it, instead of this patent troll just bailing on the case, which wouldn't have been a settlement, why did uh, why did it go to settlement? Who's benefiting from this settlement? Well, I think they're both just saving their skins a little bit because, you know, if they end it now, then neither one of them are going to have to continue paying all of these exorbitant fees. True, and but it, they could end it by just ending it. As well, Darryl it, it could also out. be something to where the judge says, "Okay, before I dismiss this, you have to settle. You have to go to an arbitrator and could write be. up an agreement." Right, and it was sealed, or it was under—I forget what the term was used in the beginning of the article—but the uh, the terms of the settlement are not public. Now, you said that at uh, in September they I think there's a certain it's early deadline September, where they yeah. can discuss the case, but I don't know if that means they'll be able to discuss the terms of the settlement. In a lot of cases settlements are always locked down in my case in palmer massachusetts it was not locked down so we were able to talk all about what happened there yeah well out of of time for tonight see you online in the meantime at freetalklive.com check out daryl at his website fpp.cc see you tomorrow are you are you looking for an excuse to come check out new hampshire this fall you're invited to keenvention keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the shire You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. <laughs> This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. The Corey Moore Show is coming up next, live after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.49 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,279 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $510. 
Antiwar.com reports Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel laid out a particularly hysterical view of the ISIS threat, insisting they posed a threat to literally every national interest the U.S. has everywhere and that the U.S. has to prepare for everything in the latest war. It isn't hard to see where that viewpoint came from as other Pentagon officials talking about ISIS are showing a similarly alarming perspective as they continue to push the administration for escalations of the war. Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman Martin Dempsey presented ISIS as an apocalyptic opponent that can only be tackled militarily and pushed for the U.S. to expand the Iraq War into neighboring Syria, saying that's the only way to contain ISIS. When pressed on the U.S. escalating the war into Syria, Hegel was evasive, insisting only that ISIS continues to explore all options in their newest war. In the near term, this is likely to mean mostly an increase in the current air war inside Iraq as CENTCOM is pushing particularly hard for the U.S. to greatly expand its target list to allow the large number of warplanes already attacking Iraq to hit many more targets. The State Department has already chimed in with a request for another 300 ground troops in Baghdad, and further ground operations have already been reported to be in the works for the Anbar province along the border with Syria. Actually escalating the war into Syria itself will be a huge step, and it may well be the revelation of the failed rescue mission in Syria was part of a campaign to widen expectations for the war's eventual scope, giving officials the ability to argue the U.S. already added Syria to the war long ago. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. The French news service AFP reports the Australian tax office said cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin should not be considered as money or foreign currency when it comes to taxation. Instead, Bitcoins are a form of property. The decision follows a similar move by the IRS in March. The Australian tax office said in its guidance, transacting with Bitcoins is akin to a barter arrangement. The ATO's view is that Bitcoin is neither money nor a foreign currency, and the supply of Bitcoin is not a financial supply for goods and services tax purposes. Bitcoin is, however, an asset for capital gains tax purposes. The move disappointed the Australian digital currency industry, which said treating the supply of Bitcoins the same way as the exchange of a commodity meant that it would be subject to a 10% goods and services tax. Ron Tucker from the Australian Digital Currency Commerce Association said the move could send industry innovation overseas to places such as Singapore and Hong Kong. During the 2013 Porcupine Freedom Festival, Davi Barker presented an idea for a renegade psychological experiment. Since then, he has refined his idea and put his plan and research into writing. He explains, We aim to show the world beyond a shadow of a doubt that power corrupts absolutely and corrupt authority deserves no obedience. Authoritarian sociopathy is available from Amazon.com and all major bookstores. The New York Times reports, a poll taken since a white police officer in Missouri shot dead an unarmed black teenager shows blacks and whites sharply divided on how fairly the police deal with each group, along with a rising feeling, especially among whites, that race relations in the country are troubled. The latest New York Times CBS nationwide poll shows that most white respondents reserved judgment on whether the fatal shooting of Michael Brown was justified. Most black respondents say it was not.